that the witness is being brought in. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome back, Ya Imam. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah, Ya Imam. I hope you have been treated to TRRC lunch. Oh, is the Imam fasting? Imam be sundin. Last. <laughs> Thank you. Last option. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ya Imam. Well, talking about the 72 sects that would go to hell. Uh, what uh, is that hadith by Al Bukhari or by who? A co hadith of Maya Foko, in Sapat Tamuru and in Saboko, no Tauru and in Flu Baby Tajana, a co hadith of Jumalia for Bukhari Long for Juma. Trimidia Valle. Trimidi said it. I didn't hear the answer. He said Trimidi said it. Trimidi, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, authenticated by. Jumale nata asahayandi. Kasede akasahayandi. Mbatangaji ve Muhammad Fadil. Allow me to cross check. Buko kono. In Amade Fatih's book. Okay, yeah, yeah, Imam, you can do that later. Yeah, uh, Imam, but, is your Kenya too? Uh, in the meantime. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, you know how this uh, but but uh, yeah, Imam, it's really not important as to the authenticity of the hadith or uh, not. Among my work, among my work, hadith on in the uh, the important thing is, uh, it is a well-known hadith, and you have correctly cited it. Okay. Uh, is that the reason why you denounce the Shia as being non-Muslims or being heretic? Muslim uh, no, no, no. No. Kila Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Prophet did not uh, name anyone. And those groups did not exist during his time. Because I told you that the Shias are merely a group. Shiite. Whether you are a Shiite or not? Near Muhammadu Nain, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you insult the President, the, the, the Prophet, Abu Bakar Nain. You insult Radiallahu Abu, Anhu. Abu Bakar, Ya Umar Nain, Radiallahu Anhu. You insult Umar, Iko Kafir Olim. And you say that they are unbelievers. Iko Jalang Olim. You say they are idols. Is it, is it an insult to call someone a Kafir? If the person is an unbeliever, you have not insulted him, you have merely stated what he is. 
so what problems do you have with the Shiite? Say, Munkole Akule Sotonta, it la Carola, Shia la Kodro. Nkola for eating. This is what I am telling you. Nico, if you say you are telling me ifs, uh, that is conditional. Tell me what is the problem with the Shiite? Ako Nico, a ten, a co. Womu kulet me along as fla fla, but I left alone only fum fum fum, Munamukolea court is Sial la Carola. Memukolea court is Sial ni Suno Tema. The problem between the Sias and the ways of the Prophet Sialco al Corano be Bulu, men in tell time and killing. The Sias say that they have an Al Quran which is different from the one which we have. Womu these are the Shias who have 12 principles. Al Quran, the Al Quran, they said they, they removed some Al Quran from it. Okay. The one that was removed from it. They said it is equal to three of this type. In essence, therefore, you are saying there is a difference between their brand of Islam and your brand of Islam, correct? believe in. Uh, it has to do something with their faith. The difference is in the principles. Yes, but I, I, I accept that. But what I'm driving at is you are saying that their brand of Islam is different from our brand or your brand of Islam. Sialu ika Islamu sambanya mitela Islamu ya fo unintolu wala itela Islamu Kenya fatatale bang dino futatan tele ma mene la silola mene ya dino futande ma those that brought the religion to us are the companions kila la saibol salola salam the prophet's companions so ni kol mu kafir wolati so if you say that those are unbelievers ita mu dina jumala kan say then which religion are you on? Could you just answer the questions instead of asking me the questions? Ako, just answer the questions. That ako, way we move forward. I love to say, men sin tariyandi. Na yin yin ka men ajabi wale fisiata puru ibina ajabi do ibina yin yin ka do na tila kalaka. What we are talking about here is. Me men fo kanja wale. Yeah, Imam. Could you put aside your telephone? No, man, that telephone no use kande. Um, could not, you put I'm it aside, not, please? Not leave me the telephone. Yes. Kindly put it aside. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, we have agreed that our brand of Islam is Sunni Muslim, isn't it? According to the Santa Islam or Islam is not Sunni or Islam. No. Yes. Alhamdulillah. But there is another brand of Islam called Shiite Islam. Akubari afasondo fana bije kafume Shiite Islam. Atola Islam ola. It named itself as Islam. Atola Islam ola. It named itself Islam. Name it Islam. Okay. Yes, but you call yourself Sunni Muslim. They call themselves Shia Muslim. And you call yourself Sunni Muslim? Muslim on ala sunna. On sunna. Which makes you a Sunni Muslim? You could say it that way. Yes, just accept it. 
That, that way we progress, but if we hold on to little, little things, we don't make progress. And the others, the others from Iraq, they call themselves Shiite Muslim, correct? I want us to name things, give things their own names. Uh, so, in a sense, that gives us two groups that believe in some things that are common, but others that are different, isn't it? We don't believe in the same things. In essence, you are saying that you are the Muslim, but the Shiites are not Muslims. That's what you are telling us. But the Muslims, I told you, they will be divided. Okay. So, the prophet's hadith, I must return back to it. You don't agree to take questions, but there are certain things which we have to ask in the, in, Islam in, in the question form. Islam is principle of the sort. The thing is, uh, we are not here trying to question the correctness of your views Mantara or your interpretation of Islam. That is not our purpose. The issue is here that we have these incontrovertible facts that you subscribe to one version of Islam called Sunni Islam. There are others who subscribe to another version of Islam called Sunni Islam. Is Shia Islam, excuse me. Isn't that the truth? Ako, mbe memfo kanjang, wole mnyi muto nya falimbalo liko. Kafosro ntale, meni alonko wolu kwemu Sunni Muslimo leti. Yo bardolo fanalu bije meni alonko. I told I told you this that they claim to be Muslims. I am not here to say that they are Muslims. They say that they are just, Muslims. Just like you claim that you are a Muslim, they also claim that they are Muslims. Isn't that the case? Yeah. Yes. But you, the Supreme Islamic Council, you take it upon yourself to attack these people and denounce them as non-Muslims. But I tell you, Supreme Islamic Council, alienin tali faye pour kani molu kajafi kafoko wolu manke misili molti. Me kajafi me attack. We did not attack them. Well, here it is in the papers, August 2008. Afelen afelen tikaito balade August karo 2008. Gambia denounces Shia faith. Gambia ye doya roke Shia la silola. The Gambia Supreme Islamic Council has ordered all programs geared towards propagating or defending Shia Muslims to stop with immediate effect. Gambia ye nyingkamo di ko program wal nin kolu men ni beta man di kam purka Shia lu fasa ya belon di sign sign sign. True or false? I never saw this document. If it came from the Supreme, it might come from the Supreme Islamic Council. But, but any statement that came from the Supreme Islamic Council, I am with it.
Supreme Islamic Council, did you make that denouncement? Did you say uh, that all programs geared towards propagating or defending Shia Muslims must stop with immediate effect? Did you do so? Ako, alia fale fali mafo fali yole ke banka fo program wo program kwa kundi nabe tamaka anka Shia lusembentu ya abeye dang ya abebula fo wo manke bang. Ni ya fo yinyanta falale. If they had said that, then it is within their limits to say so. The question is not if it was said. Did, did you, as a part of the Supreme Islamic Council, say it? Ako, ite fango kata ilataro Supreme Islamic Council kono fali yo kumakangulu fole bang. Angamira albuka na kumomwe. I think you don't hear me well. Amanche ko kaito kaito bata Supreme Islamic Council kono ntele kasa fe. It's not that any document that leaves oh, that the Islamic, uh, Supreme Islamic oh, Council is written by me or is written by me. But when it was written, it's written oh. I was there. So if this document came from the Supreme Islamic Council, yes, it was written by me or it was there. So if this document came from the Supreme Islamic Council, yes, I was a member of it. So you accept that the Supreme Islamic Council denounced the Shia Muslims? I'm going to say that. It's not that the Supreme Islamic Council is Shia Lu, I'm going to say that the Supreme Islamic Council Did you or did you not? Did you denounce them? Did you attack them? No, you don't attack them. This was an attack. attack. You don't see it as attacks. No, no. But no. If, if it is said against your own version of Islam, it is an attack. Ako bari ning ayatala mole lota meyo fo atella lana dino ma. Foto mu boing kan dirol tiba. Na ay tonya fo amang attack. Ay tonya lef. Tonya nte tonya nte attack ti. If he speaks the truth, he would not be attacking us, but saying the truth. Speaking the truth is not. Who is there to decide what is the truth? They say this. God and the prophet. Exactly. They say this and you say that. And you want to sit here and say that you are speaking the truth and they are not. Amunda wole yinindomfo atelie yinindomfo bari beja mbi kafuko ni wolebeme mfuko umanke tonyati. So sila umune mundi. Yalo mbedi yamu kani dino lela, so ngaje kwa alimani spesiala isi dino tu. Nkami mfo, nkami mfo, alto understand. I see that we are speaking about religion. Imam, don't think so. No, 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 no. We understand justice. We understand. I know, you understand justice. Yes, we understand justice. This is Islam. And Imam, yes, it is Islam. But Islam is a just religion. Akoto nyala Islam wole mbari, Islam mudina tilindi ngulti. You you believe in your faith. It is later ila dinola. But you attack other people's faith by saying that they are wrong, by verbally assaulting them. That is also wrong, isn't it? Eka kuma kama lufodo lumaka foko ulumanta na silo kama fodo ufana manke se amunta boi kandiroti ba. No, ala ukumo withdraw kafunye nene. No, withdraw your statement that I insulted them. Ngamunefo. What did I say? Uh, no, what I am saying, what I am, I did not say you insult them. I did not say that. I am saying that the Supreme Islamic Council and yourself denounced uh, the, 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 the Shiite. The papers say you call them heretics. Is that true? Allow me to speak. Anyone that says that God forgets, but then subsequently remembers. Because I am so much to Jane Alam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. إلى مهدي بقول له أبنا عيشة ولين دلها رضي الله عنها أي أبوسا جنو بوسولا على كمية على كاسنة على سنفتا ورولو سنتولا أبو بكر مجلا ولتي عمر مجلا ولتي يكون هو accept as Muslim but nobody is saying you must accept it أكون مو ما فكوا يسون ولولا مو ما وفدي nobody is saying you must accept it أكون مو ما فبري it على يسون ولا nobody is saying you must accept it مو من ترى فكان برو على يسون ولا Believe in what you believe. Leave others to believe in what they believe. Mm -mm.
So you take it upon yourself that it is your responsibility to judge them and call them heretics. Ko to slang alienin tali faye kaulu kumandi ko munta ulumu sombalo leti dino la karola wo amunta aliolu aliolu kiti ndi lefoka pare. You take it upon yourself to ban them to stop their operations in this country. Ani alienin tali faye pur kaulu tong ke la kuila kaulu menube tamandi kanjang kaulu belondi ke ke burka. And in under the laws of this country, that is unlawful. They will not allow you to practice your sunnah in Iran. But, but that too would be unlawful. That too unlawful. And you, and you did not see And you did not see fault with anyone who says no. that Aisha and Umar are uh, idols and uh, we are going to die eventually and leave young young ones here. I agree with and, uh, you. I agree with you. The laws of this country is as follows. That everybody is free to exercise their religion. But the government can step in to restrict or limit the exercise of the right in the interest of public order and morality. So on that basis, I agree with you. But equally, nobody should have the right to attack another person simply because they are exercising their religion. This is the point that we are making here. Do you accept that? Yes, exercise means to let them contradict. Let them exercise something that no will not contradict so, their religion. So, in essence, if they exercise something that contradicts your religion, you have to attack them. Is that what you're saying? Abunda utoe beni na foka ngo ni eku ke me ya longo aete la dino so so le wala na alinyante boinkan na bang. Ndel me boinkan. We did not attack them. Mone masia ni pajang. Mone masia ni njang. Nobody beat up. Alaka for attack. A Shiite here or insulted a Shiite here. Never even label it as attack. Okay. Here is the paper. This is what it says. Kaito file aye ni na fo. The council's order. Just a moment. Let me start it again. All media proprietors have been warned to desist from encouraging Shia activities in this country. That is the Supreme Islamic Council, that's what they said. The paper also went on to say, Imam al Haji Abdullahi Fati of State House Mosque has advised Gambian Muslims to be wary of following what he called the heretic Shia doctrine. Gambia, uh, between Imam Abdullahi Fati, State House Jamal al Ali Mamoye, Gambian Kolu Dandala Fananko, is he Hakilo to Molu Lakuro, many along Kolu Musombalo Letidino La Carola, uh, uh, Menketa in Shialti? Did you say that? Sombalo de Munandirold. Heretic, heretic is an insult? Yes, it is. Then that uh, was not well translated. Heretic, you call me a heretic is an insult. Like if I tell you that you are a non-believer, it would be an insult. Ah, what I accept, what you don't accept. That's the principle in Islam. So, so now what this are you? This is Islam. This is Islam. 
the problem, don't believe it. The problem is you are stopping them. You are restricting them from exercising their religion. That is the problem. Kokolea momenti je alibe londi kani alibe balikang ila dino le fasa la kela dimu no kela dino no masata. And, and, and that is an injustice, and that you have no authority, either yourself as Imam, or the Supreme Islamic Council, or even the government of the Gambia, does not have the authority to stop people from exercising their religion. Ako, what you're saying, it is a symbol of the council, a symbol of the Gambia man sakunda fango. Imanye nchembo soto kamodo lubali ila dino tamandola. Nembo ko haram na talbe mutanale. If Boko Haram come, will you arrest them? No, no. I'll be so nalle yeller dino tamandi jam. Will you allow them to practice their own religion here? I'll be so nalle yeller dino tamandi jam. When they come, when Al Qaeda comes, when Al Qaeda comes, will you allow them to exercise their religion? Al Qaeda is not a dean. Al Qaeda is not a dean. Al Qaeda is a terrorist group. 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 Al Qaeda is a ni tata Amerika ni ninga shial imebu la terrorist orko no if you go to America the same America is kind of terrorist back yeah Imam this is Gambia and what we are trying to do in this country is to ensure that people live within the confines of the law to do things within the confines of the law and for people and not for people to sit together and decide who should practice what religion and who should not practice what religion nobody should have that authority this is what the issue is about akoko bembe den di melna jamu gambia leti yo adu membe keri njang wala nyinti momo ndi ibe dino melno ma isa no masata bari amanke nyinti ko Ala hakiru kabla mwenye noma kebali ila dino tamani kama purka sambo lekan aninge dundi kwa uto imala fimena fudum wale msilo tiba ne mbira Aisha ne naira ne dula kote barijam anyone who wishes to insult Aisha must do so out of this place not here no civilized society should encourage religious leaders or anybody to be insulted. No civilized society should encourage that. So, I suppose society, what society men no kuninta? The manyan sonna purka dino la alpha lu neng. Ha na la. The sonna ye Aisha ne kafu dino alpha manyan na neng. Juma lo wote. You allow Aisha to be insulted and yet say that the religious leaders must not be insulted. Juma lo wote. So, look, the issue is not insulting. The issue is the Shiites have their religion. They should be allowed to exercise their religion without infringing on the rights of other people. What you have done what you and the Supreme Islamic Council have done is to attack these people it and so try to prevent them from exercising their religion. That's what you have done. The Supreme Islamic Council has done what you have done. The Supreme Islamic Council has done what you have done. The Supreme Islamic Council has done what you have done. The Supreme Islamic Council has done what you have done. The Supreme Islamic Council has done what you have done. The Supreme Islamic Council has done what you have done. I think you should uh, See, move at, uh, let this question lie because when uh, Lamintura comes, you'll answer it so that we can proceed. Yes, let's proceed. And it did not even stop with the Shia Muslims, you extended to the Ahmadiyas. Yes, is it true or not? Four months of the what did we take to them? Your attack did not even stop with the Shiite. It continues on with the Ahmadiyas. attack. We did not attack them. Well, you called them kafirs, didn't you? But the earlier command the kafir all the lah four manke. Nineteen sixty-eight. Uh, look, that is a book produced by somebody. No, no, uh, that no. is not the issue. Uh, you called them kafirs, didn't you? Fal. Ako manka buko ni mu buko leti. Bari memu kote aliyewu kumandi kafir olela. Sorry, council. Answer the question. Did you call them kafirs or not? Kamu olela kumosa inka na kumande. 
I'm it's I'm, not my word. I'm saying someone else's statement, not my word. Okay. Forget about whether somebody else has said it. Did you call them kafirs? I am not, I'm, I'm reciting people's statement. Well, let me let me let me read out what you said. This is one of one of your summons, your your summons on 20 June 1997. You did not say that somebody is calling them kafirs. Uh, you said as follows. Uh, what right do? Uh, sorry. How can somebody who is a kafir and made his son kafir and refused to offer the janaza of his son because his son disbelieved in him, call someone a kafir? What right do the Ahmadis have not to be branded kafirs? From which Islam and which democracy do these laws come from? If democracy demands that the Ahmadis have right to appear on TV and broadcast their programs over the radio. Why didn't they exercise these rights in Pakistan? Clearly, you called them kafirs, didn't you? I am reciting the statements of other people. These, we are knowledgeable people. I did not just uh, bring the sermon of head. I did the research and cited other authorities. Are you denying that you personally call the Ahmadiyas as kafirs? I did not say that they were non-believers, but these are statements of other people, knowledgeable people. You can ask the Ahmadiyas. Ask them who made that statement to say that they were non-believers. So are you bring, bring Gambia, bring Gambia for long. Since Gambia came into existence. Uh, uh, Tony Sifo Kante, Rahimahullah, Ali Fai Badra, Rahimahullah, uh, Bunijang, Rahimahullah, Hatab Bojang, Rahimahullah, Bandit Ramahina Baluri, Rahimahullah. I am not talking about, so, I am not talking about who else called them kafir. Manta I am Foka. saying whether you, Imam Fati, sitting here, have you called the Ahmadis kafirs? Mafo modolu mafo ko inyi lu mukafiro ti mau soso. Barim be mfo kan wole mnyindi fo. Ite Imam Abdullah Fatih mbe sirinjam. Fo mafo Ahmadi lu mukafiro. Fo mafo. Kumo keno lante dama tati. Nte be modolu kono mene ko kafiro lem. I cannot claim that statement uh, for myself. I was in the midst of a people who made such statement. Okay, fair enough. But are you among those people who call the Ahmadiyya kafirs? No. Yes. Yes. And, well, finally, after denying, denying, you accept. Not uh, denying. Uh, uh, Not denying. So, and do you think that is appropriate? Do you think that is right? Do you think that is right? Do you think that is right? The one which is not, who is not a Muslim, is an unbeliever. And therefore, because in your own definition, they are kafirs, they should be banned. They, are, they should not practice their religion in Gambia. Amunta wato silang itela jeroto, nyilumumu leti menu manson misilmeyala. Wato wale ya sabu inyante tonna le Gambia bang. Amunta wato silang itela jeroto. That was not my observation. Amunta wato silang itela jeroto. That was not my observation. 
Well, oh, uh, oh, I see. Sorry. The oh. point. Let me. Yes, you've answered. The point newspaper. Point Kibar Kaito uh, Fanang. Mr. Chair, dated 14 Monday, 14 July 1997. Tenango July Karotil Tang Anin Nani 1997. Mr. Chair, I would read out something then I sent it to you to. Mbefen karan laje ukola ngaki yenan chairman. And the paper read as follows. That the Ahmadiyya's complaint by Maulana Zalid, Maulana Zalid that Imam Fati, oh, Imam Fati preached at State House Mosque State House against the Ahmadiyya and Ahmadiyya calling them kafirs and that their programs must be stopped. Do you deny that? One of my sermons are here from 1997 on issues bordering on the Ahmadiyyas. Ahmadiyyas the the Ahmadiyyas, all the knowledgeable people on Islam in the world, all of them have nimi agreed that nimi, they are non-believers. Nimi bekele Ahmadiyya unti ke Ahmadiyya unta Islamo bondije. Then my problem soto. So I am going to Ahmadiyya leti. My problem soto. But can I Islamo for a tarika asambanya mi wanti? Anyone who wishes. No problem soto. Anyone who wishes to be an Ahmadiyya can be one, but let them detach themselves from calling themselves Muslims. But you call yourself a Muslim. They right. can also call themselves whatever they like. I don't call from command the Muslim one. What do I tell from Alisi from command the Nortola? I left them in now. They can call themselves Ahmadiyya Muslim. See right. from command the Nortola. Quite a lot of Ahmadiyya Muslim. Like you call yourself Sunni Muslim. Quite a lot of Fayyani are they? Quite a lot of Sunni Muslim. Like the others call themselves Shiite Muslim. Oh, do look at for Fayyani are they? Shiite Muslim. Like others call themselves Lion Muslim. Do look at for Fayyani. Quite a lot of Lion Muslim already. I can not claim here that I am a council. I cannot claim here that I am a council. Yes, you can, but only that you no, would I get cannot. cases. I cannot. <laughs> you can, but nobody will no, give no, you I cases. Cannot. I cannot. Is this all? <laughs> okay. You don't. You can charge legal fees. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. ah. But the point that I am trying to make <laughs> is it does not matter what they call themselves. Alright? The question is you cannot and do not have the authority to stop them from exercising their religion. I did not put any obstacles in front of them. Don't heap things on my head just like that. Uh, what uh, the, the religion well, says is the, what the I said. The thing is, you spoke. You are the one who opened your mouth. Uh, you are the one who said that these people are kafirs and their programs must be stopped. Do you deny saying that? I said it, but I wasn't the only one. Do you accept that that is wrong under the laws of this country? It is not wrong. Okay. Do Islamu min tarambulu kalo kana alfalu neng because the country's laws also do, does not empower them to come here and insult the brand of Islam insult Ulam our Ahmad leaders. Ahmad ko mil man son tema akol mu janka dingolleti ile mu solle jaw yata wulu mu soliti Ulam Ahmad Ulam Muhammad said those who do not accept me uh, uh, they ya imam oh. uh, ya imam I will take offense with regards to those statements Mbe, by whomsoever they are made. Mbe Balan Nanyin Kumakangola, Purimanu Foteng, Ye for Nyanyan di Nyama, while they are for Momondima. Because they are truly offensive. Because will Mukumakangoleti, Menusi, more Kamfandi, Adun Kamfandi Lankumakangolum. But 
Barry. We should not and we do not have the right to stop them from exercising their religion. We can say, don't insult us. But we do not have the right to tell them you cannot exercise your religion. And by taking this step to stop them from exercising their religion, you acted unlawfully. Bari kasimfata wala kakuke puruke ibali ila dino tamandila wani lua mantanyola. Itale lua tinya. They broke the law. And also you also followed them and broke the law. No. So itafana ambulate ya normale, itafana ya lua tinya. Itafana ya dino la defend ka. No, we are merely defending our religion. And by defending your religion, you stopped other people from exercising their religion. Munta ite bela dino le no masata kanka fasa. Bari ya dolu balile ila dino tamandola. Ni pareta na dino tinyala. If they are on the observed it. If they are bent on destroying our religion, we will not just sit down and observe it. Alta salike nyale yininka, alta mabudu fana le yininka, alta kere kere alta alta hamadi ondu dunda sata ondu milta alta yininka. Go to Parafanya. And uh, all other communities, you we see, are the... Imam, those things don't concern us here. Hey. Uh, uh, you have said in your statement, uh, uh, you have said in your statement that as an Imam, when given criticism, you do not talk only about bad things. You should talk about good deeds. So that the person which the criticism is directed will regard it as a piece of advice. Do you believe in that? What? You said in your statement mm. that as an imam you should be saying good things mm. uh, even when you criticize people you should give it as word of advice isn't it That's what you said. Mm. do you believe in that i said that did you did you live by that edict by that doctrine yes but imam you've been calling for the execution of the ahmadis Bari imam yenyu mfole puru ahmadi ulu inyanta ulu fala le? Mwomen delta fani ya hola. One that is used to telling lies. Kutubo ulu bebe fele jang. All the sermons are here. All that I said. Did you ever call for the killing of the ahmadiyas at Mwomen Square? Lama yunga mingfo say. Ako, ake nyu nika mena fodum. Inene yenyu mfo ila kumulu kono le ko ahmadi ulu inyanta ya fala le? Mko. I said. The Hamadiyas, if they are ready, let them come for the debate. Let me read this out. 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 You are telling me about people's statements. Allow me to tell Just you my... Just hold a second. Let me read this out for you, Ya Imam. This is a letter, open letter, that was... Uh, written by the Ahmadis. It is Exhibit 117C. Mm -hmm. By open letter, it means it was published widely. It was a letter written by the Ahmadis to His Excellency Yahya A.J.J. Jame. Letter along Ahmadi Ali Yemen Safi Kaki President Yahya A.J.J. Jame. And I will read out the complaints they make and you will respond to it. Abe Akarana, Nilua Sita Dalu Menula, Bitum Eta Financiolu Lamoy Ibe Menjabi Laje Yajabi. It is true that you have challenged them to a debate. Both the Ahmadis and yourself have confirmed that. We have no quarrel with 
two religious scholars or people from different sets wanting to have a debate. Mam balanda soto dina bunda fula tema wala mo fula tema menu mo karan naluti puru ye beng ye si ye kacha. That is healthy in any democracy. Wo ni ni ata le democracy wo democracy la karola. The complaint is not that. Amunda wo manke ni lawasi dati. And listen to what the Ahmadiyas complained about. Jung Ahmadiyal wasita kuome na saya kana wale fote. This letter was dated 10 August 1997. Ni letter wasafeta August till tang 1997. And they said that during the last two months. And we ni lefoko ni karifula tambila kono. The peace and security which have been enjoying are being threatened. Kanto nintanka nintairo mbe nimbangu kandelta mna sainde ifele ipareta tiniala. The Imam of the State House Mosque Abdullahi Fati. Alimamu mbe State House Jamango to Abdullahi Fati. Started a very dangerous propaganda against our Jamaat on 6 June 1997. Aye, kumakan sangara balle damra kafun na Jamaat ma June karo tiluoro 1997. Insulting the holy founder of the Jamaat and calling us kafirs. Amunda aye Jamaat fango londila fango neng ako wakola ako Jamaatu malu ulmu kafiru dleti. Do you deny that or do you accept that? Ako so saying isonta wala lefu ibalantal. Ah, ako propaganda sa ite kafu attack. He said propaganda, but you are saying attack. The two can mean the same thing. In kufulo lebesi keno kukele mutile. No, no, no. No. Well, you 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 are an expert in the English language. Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not a, an, an expert. An attack can constitute part of a propaganda. Akobo in Kandro, as a Kenoko, a propaganda lem. Take take that from me. There are two different things. You you accept? No, no, no. I don't accept. All right. Well, this is not a polemic in linguistics. Make it propaganda. Yes. All right. Okay. But, but this is what the letter says. Do you agree uh, that you have been insulting their founder and calling them kafirs? What? You accept or do you deny it? What? If I said yes, no, you will not understand. Right. Yes. Maybe Allow I could understand clarify. it, but the commissioners would. Let me make it clear. The Prophet said it. He said, if I leave, 30 liars will emerge. They will all say that I am the chosen one. And there is no one after me. Dukar eh, Hamadiyah ni yang hadis saya fasar mula ya bang. Kan di Hamadiyah translate this hadis. Nama Ahmadu ko, Momo ko, Momo ko. Di temu Nabi mula ti kila kola salallahu alaihi wasallam. Di temu Muslim tak kadabu badi mula ti. Ata leh aku. Imam, you can help us easily by answering yes or no. Did you insult their leader? Did you call them kafirs? Ako foye la nyaton kone ne wala ye kumandi kafiru la lebang. Me ne momenti nga wala fo. I did not insult them. I just said what they are. Okay, and you said what they are by your own standards, by your own definition. No. Munda yo foko ite la jero le yo itandi la ifongo imuta menti amunda yo le fo. Alta research from Pakistan, from Saudi Arabia, Muslim World League, OIC, Masra, Egypt. All the dunia beke wa alta research albaja le jumala kwa hamadi yano muslimu alti. Go and make your research in Pakistan, in Saudi Arabia, the IOC, and all the Muslim world. But the thing is, we are not here trying to judge what happens in Egypt or in Saudi Arabia or elsewhere. What we are trying to do here is. Our imams in Gambia are busy insulting other people and calling them kafirs, which is contrary to the laws of this country. Egypt, 
wala Pakistan wala Saudi bankulu la ko kunna me men kunna jangule minti ko almamo felenti na Gambia banko kan jang me ya lonko ay siolu dolu soton ta men ya lonko ay yenen ay kumandi kafiro la mbe wala kumo fokan Mamone. Did you call them? Did you insult their leader? You have accepted that you called them kafir. But Kwe did so, you insult their leader? Ison tako kafoko inyilumu kafir oltiofu. Ako bari ila nyato nko meye Ahmadiyya bondi. Fuyo nene bang? Mbatu. Ako Ahmadiyya nmu kafir otu wante ntela kumati. Nte masos. Allow me. Adunda mbabu kafu. The statement that the bari ikafole. Albet sambila jela ngat alusona jela ngat tambi. Bari ikafole. Kana afo ndele wulta bi yungu hamadi yonu mkafi roti. No. Bari ikafole. Ndefana mkafole haa. Ok. So mbe wale la teng. Ikafole. Haa. Bara kana afo kontela miro na mungu wote. Nda mira nteng. That is not my own thought. So ikafumol for the wrong ima ila miro nteng. Ikafole the wrong. So you just say these things and these are not your thoughts. No, no, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to say that. Maybe it's the Mandinga language which you don't understand. No, I understand perfectly what you have said. What you are telling us is that you did not coin it, you did not originate it. Okay, other people say it. But that is not our issue, you're missing the point. The point is you are saying it. As Imam Fati, you are saying it. As others say it. But the fact that others yes. say it does not mean it is correct. This it doesn't correct. mean it is right. It the doesn't mean it is lawful. Islam banko be All Islamic nations. All right. There is none amongst them which recognizes them as so Muslims. So, you Gambia be kela misilimote. Because in Gambia, you know, 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 so if, if, if Gambia should okay. uh, make them Muslims, I heard you say that uh, hundred nations. Gambia aliye embrace aliye mutako misilmo la ali mutawo nyama bari Gambia misilmo lu mili bijam mili fata mili baluri ulto sana kwenye mmo misilmo la. If you should recognize them as but, but, Muslims, but the thing is, uh, that is not necessary. The important thing is that they be allowed to exercise their faith. Mem fata wanya amanjare obela bari mem kumma ya tajang. Just like you are allowed to exercise your faith. Tamandi, ko ite kela dino tamandi if nyameng. Ie fanal bula yela dino tamandi wanya. Ie dawa 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 bula yela dino Ya fitno dati ya kafitno mimi fuka fomba baluri njang bure hamadi yangu dunta njang. But kaira mandu njamba goka. But imam, don't you think that this fitna you are talking about is in fact brought by the preaching, preaching of attacks against these people instead of their by their activities? Fomba wa fitno, many ya wulindi wale mu many ya dartling hamadi yalla. Don't you think the fitna is being brought by statements suggesting that the Ahmadis should be taken to July 22nd Square to be asked to convert to Islam or be killed? Right. When the Ahmadiyas were going to Sali Kenya, I was not yet an imam. No, 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 no. This is not about Sali Kenya. But imam, this is about you. About fitna. It's about fitna. Yes, just listen. Okay, listen. Just hear me out. This is about you saying in your second khutbah that the Ahmadis should be taken to July 22nd Square asked to convert to Islam or be killed. Did you say that? Did you say that? Did you say that? But this open letter was published and sent to the president. Bari ni letero ya safele ya janjandi yandu ya ki president fana ya njini nkaro minke lefta wale jabila ni manso nji I want to answer the question that you have asked You are not allowed me and I think you should go to that question Look, I direct the questioning so allow me to do my work You will be given the chance to talk at the end of the day 
All right, but be rest assured I will come to that issue. Ndela kanyo ni nkaroke, mbula ngadu kota mandi nyanta kele nyaming, bari ifanambela watu soto lale. And be rest assured you would be treated fairly. Andu isalonko, mbela kuolu sambala nyaming bani, ntilingu le sambala, fasarti ye. So, akisile. You accused me. Because that question was uh, directed at me, and you should allow me to answer. Uh, Imam, let's clear this. I am not accusing you. It is the Ahmadis who accused you. Okay, let me answer. In 1997, 1997, they published a paper, and they sent it to the president. And they said, you have asked that they be taken to July 22nd Square. And asked to convert to Islam or be killed. You deny making this statement. You deny making this statement. The sermon, sir, the sermon is here. If you want, the, my youth here will give it to you. I am here speaking. And, uh, and Independence Stadium. Ya juibé, ibe fengko kumandi la munto la, beka la juu la chanzo soko na foka na independence stadium debate. Kifa purumu, nte nte ngasi mbosoro purkeva. The sermon I gave was heard by many. Bari diya mutami yewe mumu hakili malat. In fact, la tarin nte ngasi falo numpuri yefa, nte ngamu right to soto gambe yepurka fa karifa. I don't have the right to demand that uh, people be and killed. And thank you very much, Imam. Thank you very much. I am happy to hear that. Inumbara baake Imam, nse wata purka umai. Because it would be frightening. Because abe abe kuo kato abe kela sila nyia kuleti. If our Imams could sit and determine or direct or dictate who should be killed and who should live. Nina alimamu lukasi ika jube ka foko, jumale nyanta fala, jumale nyanta kilateng kawo kangulu fo moluma akwo sila nyabe warlali. So I am happy to hear you say that you don't have that right. Ako woto nyinketanye se woti kamwe ifanga ya foko wo sembo tela. Ndelina sharia na karan, sorry. We studied the sharia. So Sharia hana betama kandami. And even where Sharia is operating, nente dingo ya dino bula, yeselme ya bula. If my own child rejects Islam, I dina dota and adopts another religion. My sembo surunga fa. I I don't have the power to kill him. Nente dingo ya jeno ke my sembo surunga busa. If my son commits fornication, I don't. Dingo ya sunyaro ke my sembo surunga bulo kuntu. I don't have the power to beat him up. If my child uh, steals, I don't have the power to beat him so up. So how could I say such a thing in a country where is Sharia was not in operation? Thank you very much, Imam. So you and us are on the same page. To have said so, to have asked that these people be killed would have been unlawful. Awfo kafuko ni nyanta ni molo falale ni ol sotonta nong woto oni lua manta nyola. In fact, it would be criminal. And wafang asekiano ko kuku kukrumlem mikafu maya criminal tu baoka. Because it would amount to incitement to violence. Amunda akoto be kelani neti ko eka molo suku suku puri efitino le wulindi. Okay, ning ayatara mo yenda fana akis kwenye le ngafu ko e molo fa ayatara nte maf. And if, uh, if someone were to accuse me, accuse me of uh, having said uh, that uh, they were to be killed when I did not say so, then that too would amount to a criminal because act. Because if, if, if it were a Sharia court, that could uh, cost me my life. And this sort of lies was what was responsible for many people lose, losing their lives so, in so many places. So I take it that you deny completely saying this and that the accusation is a lie. Ni mkumaka wa mkumaka neti ite mamu mfo ya so sole mwosafu kwa woto fani ya kumole mfo. Fani ya fingole mfo, amankwe. It's a black lie. Thank you, thank you very much. Inu mbara kende kende. But apart from this allegation. Bari watu miru kola, wakumaka ngulu kola. 
you called for the Ahmadis to be banned? Did you? For No. <clears throat> yes. And that was unlawful. It is in line with our religion. Uh, yes. You just told us uh, that it is in line with your religion, ah, but it's, it's, in, it's not in line with the general law that applies in this country. Hi, Tony. I have been for anything. Dino ni ala dino tata nyola. But in sinjit sene andiko aning im banko la lua lumanta nyola menu belari njang. No, I don't lua lua. Do we just lua misinterpret le? Sometimes you miss. Lua man chance di mola. Can I lua? Can mola mola dino ka feje feje ka. Sometimes you, sometimes you misinterpret the law. How could someone uh, yeah. be uh, castigating other people's religion and you allow, allow them to, to live in the name of uh, freedom? Sometimes you misinterpret the law. How could someone be the law? And uh, if that were to be allowed in this country, people will be beating up each other here and you wouldn't so be anything. Would be so if uh, such a thing should happen, it will make people turn to be no, unbelievers. The, the unbelievers. And uh, the they term all others as uh, non-believers. Even, even if they are, their father dies, they will not uh, pray together. And uh, other sects pray together, but they will not pray together so with other sects. So when they came, they uh, brought these differences but, but, within but, the people. But, but, but here, here, Imam, but young Imam. <coughs> the fact that there are differences. Tonyako fatam fanso lubijele. The fact that they do things on their own is not a reason why they must be banned. It's not a reason why they must be banned. It's not a reason why they must be banned. We will not sit by and uh, allow Islam to be destroyed. If Islam is to be destroyed here, let it not be in our presence, inshallah, by God's grace. And in your book, the existence of other groups that are different from your own version of Islam means that Islam is being spoiled. Is that it? I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to I don't original We must revert to the origin from the source. That Ahmadiyya was born into Islam. He was brought up in Islam. So it was the British who set him up to fight against Islam. All that is not an issue. The issue is not who created Ahmadiyyanism. We have the Ndigal group here. They were created by from here. Yes, you can laugh, but, but to them it is a serious thing. We have hadirs here, we have lions here. In fact, the lions believe that the Mahdi has already come. Do we stone them and say these people are not Muslims who should be killed? Do you think that is right? Do you think that is acceptable? We are not uh, on the issue of the lions here. We are on the issue of the Ahmadis. So, what are so you if you don't know the cause of the disease, you cannot uh, 
know how to cure it. If you refuse to get to know who the Amadis are, you will put them in a place where they are not supposed to be. So this is the confusion. No, Imam, that is not the confusion. Hani Imam, o manke fili fili The confusion is. Filo mumendi. You think you have the power. Ya mera kuni sembo be bulule. To attack all the groups you think. Ah, kafululu mutake idoya ite ya mera menu ya longo. Who have things that they call their own version of Islam? Which is different from your own version of Islam? That is the issue here. I have no own version. Never say your Islam. own version because I don't have my own version in Islam. I never have my own thought in Islam. Islam banta bring janning attending the sanji wuli killing chemenan koma Islam o tim aliyama akumatu lakum dina kum wa atmam tu aleikum naimati wa raditu lakum al Islam adina. B ngal dino tim mandile aliyama atmam tu lakum dina kum today akumatu lakum dina kum. Nalle dino kama lindile, wa atmamtu alaykum neymati, nana neymo timmandaliye, wa raditu lakum li islama dina. Ndunya ta islamo yika liye dina ti, imam malik rahimahullah, jammolu kafo yibi min noma, atar fenja maya waliji. Ako, ma lam yakun dina nthalika li yawmu, falan yakun dina na li yawmu. Fengu se mman ke dino tu wadu. So, nga duma ndi nga kanna suri, ni tente nta wanya nta kanna suri. Sorry, sorry. Mana kau nak kau beri kontrol dah? Nanti kau mengkontrol. Imam. Imam. Baca yang kau ini. What you have just said. You mean for ten saying? Bukan iman je mai je. You have not heard that. What you have just said. Aku yang mean for ten saying. Is the perfection of Islam by Prophet Muhammad even before he died. Wala kita kila nyima. Aye Islamo foreign dinyaming hani janning alabatala. Even people in the Arab world. Arab tundo lukang. Some people believe in an Islam that is different from the one you are talking about. Lolo sonda Islamo siladola. Men ni tela men me fatam fanso soto aning iteka Islamo men foteng. Is that true or false? For man ke kusoto ni muti. If you name some countries, I would be able to name other countries. You well. would accept that Islam is not one universally accepted monolithic block uh, that is the same in everywhere. You would accept that is not the case. Ako isi so nyin nako, Islamo afuntita nyame mfokana abula bila. Amanke nya kilungu nya dammante afuntita nyaming ko bebe usila kilungu le noma alata nyaming adata nyaming kabirabe fintila ko bebe usila kilungu le noma fata mfanzo lu soto ntajia uh, nyamuna a reality uh, this is my area uh, council yeah. yes you would accept that there are differences but, and but disagreements ako wato ibe sonna le ko fata mfanzo lu bijele andung kangwali yolu bedula dolu tole fanang islam wa principle le soto misili mefula buka wali watu islam has principles and no two muslims argue over that islam wa ye brancho le soto wali yoka tar wale tu islam has branches and this is where the dispute, disputes usually come and, from and don't those branches represent some differences ako wo brancho lu menu ke fonya wala mbulo lu nyiliti fo wolu fatam fanso tije ba ani principle nyini ka folo no Ask about the principles first. So for you, you think it is your responsibility to, to assess and determine which branch is, um, is Muslim and which branch is not Muslim. But Silang Amunta, itele nyinta ka jube. Islam la branch juma wole mu Muslim tonyalti and branch juma le manke Muslim tonyalti. Nko, nka mi ufofalbu ka mwiba. What I say, do you hear it? Yes, I have. Hadiani Ahmadiyya, Sosta Pakistan. Pakistan, Lona Bekeu, Ukomisilmente. 
Ahmadiyya was established in Pakistan, and all the knowledgeable people in Pakistan have said that Misilme they are not Muslims. Be be and all Muslim countries in the world except Gambia have said that Gine they are Bissau. not Muslims. Guinea Bissau, Minter Saje, Muslim Tenu, Kumbayala, Biridun Taje, I Muslim World Kumandi, Konyil Kodin or Bebul, Alajube, Biriajube Kaiko Muslim Tete, Akoi Finta Bangkoka. In Guinea Bissau, the one who was there, Kumbayala, he was not a Muslim. So, when they, Gambia, the Dunia Bekola Chow, Gambia, and Banku Kilun, the member of the Muslim world. But when they got there, he called the Muslims and uh, inquired from them. And when Imam, they were. You are, you are missing the point entirely. Imam Amunta, I have four Kuokumulale, Mbedamen Nokan. The question is not whether they are Muslims or not Muslims. Nyenin Karo Mankenyin de Kafu Foymu Muslimu Leti Bang Foymanke Muslimu Luti. The issue, issue is they have a right to exercise their religion according to their own belief. And you, Imam Fati, have no right, absolutely none, to stop them from exercising that right. Alun ite Imam Fati, ima sembo soto, nyaunyandi nyamapuru, kafo ulukana ila dino tamandi ite lata ala nyamin. That is the issue. No. It's not whether they are Muslims or not Muslims. Manka koka for Muslim only mu iti walla manka Muslim only. Say Santa Quantala Kumanda for Muslim only for Muslim only. Now you call. accept that uh, uh, they been called non-Muslims is not my statement. E Quantel na miro, Quantel na jero, Quantel na vita fala karmo Muslim only karmo manka Muslim only. Wola nanga nyukumo for. You said in my own statement, in my own thinking, I am the one who said such and such a person is not a Muslim. So ninte be ninte be mararin committee. I am in charge of a committee I'm just one singular Muslim and just one ordinary Imam. So I am I not see anyone who comes dressed in sheep clothing when Lama, they are wolves. I do Muslim only saji bungor. And uh, to allow that person to get into the burn or to the, the, the sheep of the Muslim community. Uh, you are moving the discussion to something else. My point is, the Ahmadiyas, let them call themselves whatever, or call them whatever. Ahmadiyalu, ye fang kumandi nyaunyandi nyama, wala, ite se kumandi nyaunyandi nyama. Call them non-believers association. Isa fono ko, sumbalo lula kafole muiti. As an example. Umu santi yung altidro. But they have the right to exercise their religion. Bari. That is guaranteed by section 45 of 25, excuse me, of the constitution of the Gambia. And you have no right as imam to stop their activities. That is the law of this country. This is not a Sharia state in which you as a cleric uh, is giving the right to determine who is a Muslim and non-Muslim and stop them from exercising their faith. This is the issue we are discussing. Jamu bankuleti me ya longko amanke kumbeta makan sari yangola dame mosilo kafoko nyimolo manke misili moti nge keteng wala nge lateng amunta lua lebe nyimbanko ka meni ya longko ye nyanto ledi so sila nyo kolbeta makan woto sila woto amanke nyintiko mwe sembo soto le kaulubali la dino tamandola so it means we don't have any outlet in the constitution which, uh, which allows us to uh, no, no, protect no. Our, our religion. There is, and I will tell you. Okay. And I have told you earlier before earlier, that the right to exercise one's religion is not absolute. Uh, it can be restricted in instances in, in, where in the manifestation or the practice of that religion, 
it goes contrary to public order or morality men nin jamala kolu sambanya fatata wala lafta jamaa molula kolu tinyala and i can give you an example nsi santi yongo dino ila if people thought in the exercise of their religion they can go naked in the street makati square drumming naked and things like that that will not be allowed ni mole ni mirako ni munyan toleti se menke no ye wurang ken sen tan ni fulo katantang lu chika be tantang lu kosila kata ba yeto wom kuleti me yalon ko mote sonno la wala because that would be contrary to morality karoni halamadum la halama ya miro fo manta nyola these are instances in which the law can step in and say you cannot do this ul mukudol le ti dame loi si dun no je ka foko ali nyimbula al te nyin kenola but even at that the intervention it's limited to curing the mischief bari hani wo ke dabulo je wo mukule ti me yalon ko ya wuli nyina kama puru kuru ya ko memba ko no pur kallo du la ke wala but it will not go as far as telling these people that you cannot exercise your religion in this country bari atetano la han fo ka futa tembo to damen mo silo ka foyen ko al tala dino ta mandino la nyim banko ka like like was done to the shiite and and you propagated against the ahmadiyas kafo ya ke ya menke shiala andu inata kuma kangulu men fo ahmadiya luma that is unlawful wo dodo ni lu amanta no ali muslim ala bulal man san san kala you have abandoned islam you have not put a fence around it wo bala fa warta ba and that is uh, very sad ali kuma tamfo you have said 10 statements kuma kemefo you say 100 statements wala mo muslim ya nyim subole ta be la mo mo nata murota ya kuntu ya diate nyam ya kew nyam and it's like islam is just a piece a chunk of meat anyone that comes can take a slice and get away molta sonola people will not accept that molta sonola uh, uh, muslims will not accept that again you are deliberately misinterpreting the situation kota ke afelenti ebe ko fola nyaado nyaama meya lon ko a membe kering a new fatatale nobody here is talking about attacks against islam mo mantara kuma fo kan jang meya lon ko wolem boyin kan diroti islam o kan and we are all muslims here and untel be mo muslimo leti jang none of us here uh who are muslims would sit here and support or encourage attacks against islam until men we sirin jam muslim wol mo mon dinta sonna pour mo yewuli ka islam o boyin kan wala ka kajafi but just like just like you will not sit here and accept attacks against islam o ete fango be sirin jam yami ete sonna nyin na mo yewuli ay islam o boyin kan equally others who believe in something else should be protected from attacks ko woto kanyango bi jele ni ko dolu fanalu ilata menna pour ko no ma mo manyan ne boyin kanna and that is why we are here you have no right to attack them wala nan bi jang ni manke la nyanto ti pour ko lu boyin kan by attacking them that is against the law ni o ka mon ta ye loi le tinya who attack who you attack them by asking for their religion to be banned in this country itale amunta itale nyum foko yela dino tong nyim banko kan womu boy kan di rol itale nata jay boy tan tel kan they came an nga to nyaafu and attacked us let's itale nata jay boy tan kan they came and attacked us itata satel do million ko 100% muslim na mi be ka sali almami kilina ko ma they went to communities that had 100% muslims who were praying ye fara fulati bu ka sali nyoma nin do fata do bu ka ma be ala sala sawto and they divided these people such that if one person died so jumale fit no nati pray over his cops jumale jumata attack ikata mori ka foy kon den islamo min nata wala correct so who and we islamo min ka man correct who attacked who you go to people and tell them ni sonta ko muhammad fatul le nyin kare ba moy la mi kumon mi foy 1968 i have come with the wrong the right religion and uh, what you should attain here is not the right religion and is that your reason for attacking them ako fo wala mo yitala dalilo ti bam pour ka nyulu boyin kan attack nyaadi how what to nyaadi fo mimi to nyaati nga wala fo how did i attack them i just spoke the truth wa amuta ko attack le mo bot nte ma je ko attack le mimi to nyaati nga wala fo you could take it as an attack but i na fe wofen fo nyindu la reference bal mr fati mr fati if if china banned islam in china would you be happy ni misali kama china ye muslime ya tong china fo be se wala wala ya kala bar mota fo le kotak they did it but they will not repeat the question would you be happy ila president ara misil mol no ma sai ka fa al duany 
Yeah, President uh, now is uh, going uh, look, after Muslims. This is, we are not here for that. Uh, Just oh, answer the question. If Islam was banned in China, would you, would you be happy? If Islam was banned in Gambia, would you be happy? And you think that by banning other people, the same thing would not happen? These people are non-minority Muslim group. Uh, Let them call themselves Qadianis. Let them call themselves Ahmadis. We have no problem with them. Not going around our uh, provinces, in the middle of the country, we have to go to the school, we have to go to the school, we have to go to the school, we have to go to the school. Let them not 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 go to the school. Nan lemu fata la sambota le salama ika fole ndel bele ni njama ulo. Ya ima. So no. Yes, interpretation. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let them not go to the provinces to our people and divide them, because they go to communities like Salikenye and they built their own mosque and divided the people. But when there is a dead uh, amongst them, they don't pray for the, the cops. They bring that cops to the main mosque in the community. And when the imams of that community and the people complain, they will argue that they both of them built that mosque. Uh, yeah, Imam. Yeah, Christians imam. also preach to Muslims. Christian uh, Christians also should they also be attacked and be banned? No, it's different faith. No, the no Christians make, made it clear that they are Christians and they are a different faith. That's not a problem. Christianity. If you... problem soto, ni problem soto. Could you believe that? So your problem is for somebody else to establish their own version of Islam. That is your problem. correct. He said that is the correct thing, and what we are doing is not correct. And you and you think you have the authority to judge who is correct and impose your decision on others on the basis of your own understanding of who is correct. Amunda wuto silang ete ajele ko isi ila kango sabatinduno wumari kang ka foko etelebe tuwa nyakang wumari mantara tuwa nyakang andung wumari fanamba fansung dino le noma sata kang andung ete ko muna silang wumari mantara tuwa nyakang amunda etele jero tuwa etelebe tuwa nyakang. Sorry, Mr. Council. The manager and magic will be cool. Jamal Benyato. Sorry, council. We will take much time here, and there are many things ahead of us. But I have already answered this question. I, I, I want you to accept. Left a lesson. And understand. That all these groups. That you call non-Muslim minority, whatever. They too have a right to exercise their religion. And you have no right, either as a council or as an individual, to attack them and to prevent them from exercising their religion. That is the issue. Do you accept that you don't have the power to stop them from exercising their religion? Yes, what powers uh, do they have to say things on television that did not come from the Quran? From which law do they derive that authority? Uh, but nobody is saying that they have an authority to attack Islam. Nobody is saying that. Islam. 
That is uh, the essence of my, my whole thing. I, I told them to, to translate it. 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 To To like you have a right to say that they are wrong. Pour ita fana yani nyanto soto nyamenka foko ulumanta rato nyaka. They too should have a right to say you are wrong. Well, fana yani nyanto soto le isa phone oko ita fana manta rato nyaka. But you think you have the right to say they are wrong, but they don't have the right to say that you are wrong. Bari yani mira ko ita yani nyanto soto le kafu ulumanta rato nyaka. Don't you see the injustice in that? Don't you see the injustice in that? The People are on a boat, some are on top, others are on the deck, those, the deck. Deck. those that were on the lower deck when they needed water they will ask those on the upper deck to give them some water they sat down and had an agreement they said before we uh, uh, climb up climb let us uh, pierce from under we are closer to the water source and said to the ones on top, if we allow them to do whatever they want, all of them will uh, When they hold it on their hands, they will uh, refuse and uh, do whatever they want. So, council, sorry, Sorry, Council, I know you speak about the law. But you and I are both Muslims. So, I accept the law, 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 I accept the uh, God said that Jesus did not die, and then someone will come and tell people that Jesus died, and his tomb is in Kashmir. The God said that a prophet will come, and his name no, no, will be no. his family. No, 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 not God. Mahdi. Muhammad, the Mahdi. Muhammad, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The prophet said the Mahdi will come. And his name will be his father's name, and he's going to come from the Kuwaitian. To have someone to come and say that uh, what you are saying is not the truth, so the Mahdi has come already. Is this guy not attacking us? Is he Imam. helping us or destroying us? Imam, Imam. in this world, <clears throat> there have been many claims of Mahdi. That's not reason why they should be attacked and said they are non-Muslims. Just down the road in Senegal, the lion claimed that Imam Ulai, lion ko Imam Ulai, hundred and forty years ago. Uh, is Mahdi who oh, appeared in Senegal. And they are called lion because they think that uh, the, uh, their, their, their leader is the Mahdi who, who we, you and I, think has not yet come. They are not being attacked in Senegal and, and, and being banned. Because people don't believe in Mahdi, in that the Mahdi has come. That is no reason to, to, to attack them and ban them.
Je suis un The issue is even in Senegal, Comment there dit? is claim of Mahdi. Anis and Senegal that is not a reason why they are banned. And Senegal, you can't be for Kangele, you can't be for Hamadi, you can't be for Kangele. But you can't be for Kangele, you can't be for Kangele. Because there is the law. That is the law of Kangele. And the law is being respected by the people in Senegal. And in Senegal, you can't be for Kangele. By your own definition, those people too should be banned because in your book, the Mahdi has not come. And ning ayatara wole nyamu, wamo lufanalu yante tolna le katu itela lano mwenye tiko, Mahdi umanji na mfolo. So the issue here is your authority. You have no right, you have no power. Amunta sayin kuobe jang mento, wole mu itela sembo. Imanyan to soto, ima sembo soto. Ban these people. Purika nyi mwolu tong. I did not ban them. I did not have the power to ban them. What was to be is what I said. And that was not my statement. That is the statement of the entire Islamic so Senegal world. world. The Senegal but, issue is on its own. Let's wait until the lions are here. But the Ahmadiyas are but, not but allowed for your in Senegal. Senegal there, there are lots of lions in Gambia. Are you going to ask that they be banned? Are you going to ask that no, 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 we are discussing it. Are it is discussing about alliance. it is about advocating people who subscribe to a different version of Islam for them to be banned. Would you would you ask that the lions be banned? We are on the issue of Mahdiya. You have a lot of work ahead of you. Don't worry. Don't worry. People have now we are asking you about the lions. Are you going to advocate that they be banned? No, no, no. I did not come here to talk about the lions. Even I ask you the question. And don't run away from it, yeah, Imam. You can see the double standards in your principles. Would you, ask, would you ask that the lions be banned? I am not here today. Question on the religion. I'm here to ask question on the Ahmadiyas. Please, you, you will not answer the question because you have seen the double standards in your principles. No, no, no. No, no. No, 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 no, no. The way you are prepared to treat the lions who claim to have a Mahdi is different from the way you are prepared to treat the Ahmadis who also claim to have a Mahdi. Amunta, ibe lioni la kulo taka nyaming, wamu anyado leti bari, aye Ahmadi la kulo taka nyaming, hanufu kafu ibe tongo musila doleti. So you see the injustice in what you are doing. Amunda sila yajele tilimbali ame ya longo abetama kangu kono. Lioni le sate juma la faraja ya kufuleti. Which community have the lions divided into two? Yele misiro lo munto le ko alkana salija alta salija. Where have they built their mosque and asked people not to pray in their mosques? Yeban salila furi juma la maja. And which dead body have they refused to pray over? So please mandari le kuoko no. So please, we are not on their issues, and I would want you to put it aside and discuss the Amadeus. The the commission has enough material to be able to make its findings on the double standards that you are using 
in order to advocate for particular religious groups to be banned. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. no. Uh, and your, your extreme advocacy Anim Fanang Ila Lafino, Ila Lodula, Maya Lonko, Ya Aitandi, Katambindi, to impose your own brand of Islam in this country. Puruke Ifansun Dino, it left Alanyam and Kao, London in Bangkok. Extends also to other people. You advocated for Bakausu to be banned, didn't you? Where did I say it? According to, let's play the um, video showing the testimony of Bakausu. Um, in which he claimed if you want to replay what Bakausu said here you will be you'll be wasting your time all that he said I have it here do you understand okay so then then perhaps we could save time I'll ask you the question directly did you ask that Bakausu be banned I'm looking for his statement. They letter the letter that led to the banning of Bakausu, when it was being written, I was not um, here. Uh, but uh, his but younger brother came here and said, yeah, that letter that on you let them fetch the letter and let's see who signed it. Let them uh, to follow and trace to find out who did the, who signed it. So uh, to save your time, these are statements that are unfounded. Okay. Uh, I accept what you said. You did not sign the letters. We have seen that the letter was signed by Imam Imam Ture. Imam Ture le fang letter on yin sign. But Bakausu made this allegation. But Bakausu wole yin kumakamu lufo. That on the 8th of May you delivered a sermon at State House. And you said that he should be arrested, punished, and disciplined. And that he has said a lot of things against Jame. Is it true or is it false? It's false. Thank you very much. But would you agree that if you had said it, if you had said it, simply because you did not like his preaching, that would have been wrong? A false statement cannot be used in court. Uh, you would accept that if you did, as Bakauso alleged, that would have been wrong. Amunda say e beson na yinako. Nata Bakauso ya mfu nata tonyala iyo leke wato wamuni nati ko imansilo tama. I did not say it. Wait until I utter it, then you accuse me of going against the law. And, and not only Bakausu. Imam Babali also. Imam Babali He also claimed that you attacked him. For his preaching. True or false? On what did I attack him? Uh, perhaps, in fact, this, let me look at your statement. Uh, there is this part in your statement. And this is what you had to say about Imam Babali. Imam Babali la 
and, and you said my first problem with him because was about the family planning and FGM. In a colleague who followed the family planning, the quality and in FGM, what a Muslim and you And you said that and we were so annoyed with him. The comfort of Kamala Hanifo about the issues he was talking about that you cursed him during your kutba. That is your statement. Did you no. say that? Yes, I cursed him. And uh, you think that was appropriate? A cursed individual is just that. The cursed person is a cursed person. I don't understand. A cursed individual is a cursed person. Is a cursed person. Is a cursed person. Is a cursed person. And you think that was appropriate behavior from an imam? No. Yes. At a time when the president is praying behind you. president No. Yes. Don't you see that that is incitement? No, no. No. It's not that I timed the presence of the president to say that. It was just a coincidence. It was just a coincidence that uh, that I was what your imam, president you, you, your imam, you knew the president was there. But imam, president How? Because he was praying right behind you, and you were there delivering the hood, but facing him. You were not giving him your back. Kato abe abe siring idala le nyati linyala. Kato amantara ko abe siring ikoma le nyabe tilindinga le. Bribe kutubo kela. Unko na abige ma ulate kama. I said even if he were there, this was not specifically. Babali a mean for nyanta for like made for him. At a mean for me any sap. Kaka jump, al kaka jump. Babad Lee should have said what resulted in what he, he went through. It Don't just jump into the conclusions. Uh, the important thing here is that you incited the president against him as a result of which he was arrested and detained. No, no. Memu kote jang wolem ye president wole suku suku ndi akama hanifo ina atamuta kata sindi dulakili. Baba yi mimfalika wole repeat. Wante kumoti. You are repeating what Baba said and that is not the issue. That is not true. But you accepted you accepted that you cursed him. Baba ni anibadu nganyo ndula sene andi follow. Please allow me to clarify this point. Baba ni president wante mwungu politiko leto mwake dina kuti. What happened between Baba and the president is a political issue. I don't religious issue. What existed between him and us was a religious matter. Adi imamu taka afoko waka FGM le campaign waranta waka family planning na support. Baba na tilindani ala tema ye kalika befala bita imba nko koto imamu taola. He wasn't arrested because of his campaigns for FG against FG. GM or, um, he, he was arrested uh, on the, for the, uh, the statements he made against the government executing the prison inmates. Amunda ya kumakamu memfo, kuru yo kaso lankamu okonondo memfa, ayo memu kumakamu lumenfo do, amunda ya muta uleka. And you justified that government action. Ani jansene andi wono janita. Mansakunda ya komenta mandi woto, ya utonya ya andile. Let's, let's clear this yeah, yes, point, uh, It Council is clear Post. that you caused him in the presence of the president. You think that would endear him to the president, would it? Would that endear him to the president? Baba ete afoko ye baba arisimi na wale madi ya muda government na actional. You said wante di na kuti. Baba was arrested for what he said against the government. That was not a religious issue. Abole president wa ya hamole kana kabona santo kafaiko ile usasulu wale kibole. 
No, and tell me that he claimed that people reported well, we him will come to, that. to the president. We and will come to that. Uh, but you incited action against Imam Babali during your khutbah. Mbina jele, but I'm going to tell you that you have to say 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 who did I incite? The president. President. No, 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 you did not hear that from me. Even when the president decided to execute those, 11, those uh, 12 inmates, and you supported the idea. And the president was in contact with the president of the government. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, which time? When the inmates were killed? He said, he said, he said, he said, I did not go to the president personally, but I gave a sermon. I was also a part of the group that went to the vice president. And you justified government no. action? Yaya did not say that he killed these people based on the Sharia. <laughs> But the Supreme Ali, Islamic Council said so. But the Supreme Islamic Council is all But allow me. The Tata Vice President. Yeah. We went to the Vice President. Purka Diamu President. So that uh, she could talk to the President. I have fine co. And uh, tell him that. I have bulolo. To stay the execution. Kato utumu kumu dole be koma nyanta minifala. Because that time there were some people behind that were supposed to be killed. If you say this guy, if he kills a person, he should be killed. Even in Sharia, if you deliberately kill someone, that individual can be killed. But the Power is with uh, the inheritors of the one that was killed. The victim's family. The, the victim's <laughs> family. <laughs> so that those that are left behind, so that he will please uh, hold on. Uh, that is not disputed. <laughs> and it was a noble thing to do. And <laughs> But that is not what we are concerned about. <laughs> What we are concerned about is you justified the action. Did you or did you not? No. No. Uh, did you say in the press uh, that the orders of Yaya Jami have to be accepted? Did you say that? Where did you say that the orders of Yaya Jamme as head of state have to be accepted? I'm not aware. All right, I would, I would, I would produce the, the newspaper, and uh, you would take a look at it. But in the meantime, the Islam, Supreme Islamic Council, the Supreme Islamic Council, endorsed Isonta. the execution of, of the, of the, of the penalty. Do you agree with that? For Isonta that penalty is not going to be able because Gambia is not going to be able to the constitution. I think the death penalty was uh, accepted by the old uh, Gambians because they voted for that in the constitution. The majority is not going to be able to the majority for it. So, you remove, you remove, you remove, you remove, you So, except if it's removed, then you could talk something else about it. No, the question is did the Supreme Islamic Council? justify the executions on the basis of Sharia. So, for you to know, the Supreme Islamic Council, you to know, the Supreme Islamic Council, is to know, the Supreme Islamic Council, is to know, Sharia. Sharia is to know. Sharia is to know. They were not executed. 
on the basis of Sharia, do not mix issues. Even if they were to be killed, they weren't killed based on the Sharia. If they are uh, killed, they are killed on the basis of the, basis of the Constitution. Um, just give me a moment. Let me look for a particular document. What in the name of the Lord? Yes, Lord. Yes, a newspaper. October 20, 2014. October, Karo 2014. It is in relation to the sighting of the moon. But you position is in the that in the But your position is that the orders must be followed. And uh, earlier on you cited a section you cited some hadith maybe it is that same hadith that informed what you said but that james orders must be followed Standard newspaper said, you said so. Standard kibar kaito leko, etele ya wafo. Standard konte ko alamu politician olte. Isonta olale. Standard said, I said that, di malam politician olte? Alamu politician olte. That God is a politician. Look, I am not interested in that. What I am interested in is what I have asked you. Okay. Did you say that or you did not say it? We are in the ticket from. They said this is in relation to the sighting of the moon. And this is what they said you said. The Gambia is a country that has been blessed with a leader. Gambia mu bankuleti me ya longo ale nyatonka dila. Who is a true Muslim? Memu Muslim me tonya tonyati. In the person of President Jamme. Wole mu ya ya President Jamme fomoti. Did you say that? Fuetele ofo bang. I'm Muslim olem. He's a Muslim. Okay. By the way, all right, no, let me just change that. I will not ask that question. Mm -hmm. Whenever he sees something good in the world, he wants to bring to the Gambia. And to, he wants to bring into the Gambia. Fine. And we should thank Allah for the fact that he brought Zakir Naik here. Naya kaira wo kaira je kukende wo kukende akalafini nela puruka na ati Gambia jang wato nse alatendo ai mo na ati Gambia jang ikafume Zakir Naik. Did you say that? No. Itele ofo bang. Yes. Zakir Naik, welcome. Hanbi. Do you do you know that? Zakir Naik is welcome even today. Do you know that Zakir Naik is an is an Islamic fundamentalist? Fair Lonko, Zakir Naik, Muslim Multi, but Muslim Melan Natambilalo. Fundamentalist, I'm saying? Bunjang Rahimahullah. I couldn't even get fundamentalist of the Islam of Konebe Kalamunit. Bunjang said, So you are for a fanatic, I call for a more fanatic slit. If you are not a fundamentalist, fanatic man in Islam, then what are you? If they so, call me a fanatic, I will also call them a fanatic. 
So you accept that he is a fundamentalist. So I should not go amunta zakiri naik mu mu fasongoleti amunta many alonko weleka lana tamboke. No, no, no. Fundamental walo walo bunte. No. What what is fundamentalist? Fundamentalist is those who uh, who adhere or espouse extreme version of Islam. A fundamentalist walo molo ti menuka Islam la. No, 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 that's not it. Oh, that is not fundamentalist. No, no, no. And what is that? Fundamentally, what I mean by lowering Islam of Sumaka. Fundamentalist is the one that is uh, standing on the, the so true way of Islam. People who are calling for Ahmadis to be killed. Those are fundamentalists. Who says so? The fundamentalists. Fundamentalists all. Like Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik Zakir Naik did not ask for the Ahmadiyas to be killed. He asked that they be burned. But I am for Koyetong. Zakir Naik would answer that. Let's uh, talk no, about listen. my issues. No, we have to deal with it. You've been propagating ideas of Zakir Naik and people like him. Zakir Naik la Jero la Tela Mira Rolo and Molumen Boka Ate. You will listen to Yakang. Trying to push Islamic fundamentalism in Gambia. Pruka Islam la Woku la Natambikolu Prukaolu Sabat in the Gambia. Al Kawala Moi. That is what you heard. But I'll never touch it. But you will never see it here. And the only way to get the quarantine and ban the binage is by from fitting the marriage also. It by from fitting the boss also. No, it by from thinking that Boko Haram, Malon Taliban. And the only way to get the only belief to Allah. But I'll touch it. You used to hear that people who studied outside will come here and commit suicides in our markets, in our buses, Boko Haram. But you will not see those things here. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Mira, do the sort of Sunno, Purka Sunno, Kelly, right? Those people, they have only the mind to fight for the true way. Whether they like it or not, they must see the true way exist in this country forever. Uh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Alhamdulillah. Because the people like Zakir Naik are the people who breed fitna. In society, and that is why we should avoid Islamic fundamentalism. Islam So Zakir Naik le bina fitno na dlaja. Ahmadiyas are here. You didn't uh, uh, ban the uh, fundamentalist tendencies. So is it Zakir Naik who is going to bring trouble here? Yes. Uh, the issue, Mr. Fati, Mr. Fati Kuomumenti, is the Gambia has laws, and those laws must be respected. Gambia ilua le soto, alu nyanta ulua lu bunya lale. And the law is... Everybody has a right to exercise his or her own religion. And it is not that we have to implement the law of Yaya Jame. And we are not going to be as you are doing in the Supreme Islamic Council. That was absolutely wrong. Apart from Bakausu, Bakausu Kola and Imam Babali. And Imam Babali. Other preachers also claim that you banned them. And that too was unlawful. So, Hamadiyo no lua ye kanta jimbang kungkam, but amanyi zakiri na yi kanta pura ala dino express. So, the laws of this country protect the Ahmadiyas, but it does not protect zakiri na yi to express his religion. Ali nyanta lua koro silale. I think you should uh, re-examine the law. Uh, you, so, are, you are getting it wrong again. Imam. No, 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 not wrong. 
You are uh, getting it wrong. Uh, what we are saying is Zakir Naik has a freedom of expression. He has a freedom to, ex to exercise his religion, but he does not have the right to stoke religious strife in this country. Zakir he Naik. does not have a right to propagate division and cause problems in this country. Kaladino Kawandi, Aini Nyanto Sotole, Kaladino Sata Molie, Ka Yitandiroke, Aladino Lanyala, Bari Amani Nyanto Soto, Kafitino Kurukurun in Banko Kang, Amani Nyanto Soto, Kafatam Fanso Dundin in Banko Molutema, Womankala Nyantoti. So Hamadi only are right Sotole, Kana can divide Kafitino Dundin Tema. So the Ahmadiyas have a right to divide us and to stoke violence amongst us. We should law empowers them to do that. Whatever they do, you do not have a right to call for their execution. You do not have a right to ban them. You accept that. Can I Can I judge Can I judge you? Don't judge me on based on the statement of the Ahmadiyya that I, I said that they should be killed. I am happy that you have dissociated yourself from that. Mavo, Mavo. I did not say so. And if you did say it, it would have been a terrible violation of the laws of this country. And you know that I tell you, I have been called to me, and I have been called to come here to Gambia Bank of Kenya. Need to be careful. Until the day that I say so. Uh, yes, and on that day too, it would be unlawful. And you know that I have been called to me, and I have been called to come no, no, can I associate? I'm going to say you sent a local deco, I think it uncle. I bet you were cheating, but you need to be enough. Don't associate these things. I said, wait for that uh, court until the, uh, on the day that I would say so. And uh, other preachers also claimed that you banned them. And don't go and loud, don't go down for a year for Yanko. It is a kid, I'm more than me along with Kitasa about me and a tongue lake. Um, Dr. Dumbuya. Umar Fofana. Dr. Dumbuya and Umar Fofana. What do you say to that? Dr. Dumbuya and Natale. Dr. Dumbuya came. The program of Diala. They gave him a program. I go many beka kawandoke mil karantanam Saudi. He said all those that uh, preach, those that were educated in Saudi. In a false certificates, Lenat. That they came back with false certificates. Lona killing Jangolum Kausu for Vanat. And that the only one landed individual was about Kausu for Vana. License Makbul, license Fengejana, accepted license. The, that, that, uh, the accepted license. Iman Karam. That they were not educated. So, Kasi radio to public Kokumov. He sat down. In the radio station, and publicly said that. Alakonga to Jay. And you want us to leave him alone? Yes. He. The law allows him to express his opinion. Lua, where is somebody else? Puru alaf miro mendi. Puru ayafo. So you, so you must ban him. So, what so, am I? Amunda akoto muni ne wole nyindiko ite nyanda lelika. So, 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 Imam, let me ask you. If I go to the radio station. And say Imam Fati is not a very good Imam. His knowledge of Islam is not, in fact, very strong. I should be banned. In that radio station, on that time, Imam Fati, ala londo njing among ala londo njing manti mabake, mo manya na kielema ala kawandola. For oda njia na jarela njina ko puruka ntoamba. Yelo amen karani ita matola ita kela. If you base that on the law that you learned, you wouldn't do so. Yes, and the law I learned is the law that governs this country. So, I am not going to be able But then, why did you allow him to say what he had to say, but you will not allow us to take the steps that we took? What the law says, uh, what Maninga said, the law is petty. What the law says, the law is here you have someone Human who, rights. who killed another person. So I write so the, the victim's family also want uh, the perpetrator to be killed, but he no because of human rights. So the one who was killed is does he does he so, not have so, a right? So in effect, Imam, you do not believe 
in democracy you do not believe in human rights is that what you telling us munta imam ila fta kafu mole ko ite imal la democracy la and imal la human right la imal la ñum fulol be la ndal ni na democracy la mun ni na human rights we have our democracy and our human rights human ni ko human if you say human ke babi yele you have elders there dindew bi ye you have young ones there as well muso bi ye women there ke bi ye men there ñeñi ni nga ask them ngwatel la ko human rights you said human rights ali na muso choose then you choose a woman ali dindew choose you choose a child ke wala right le what about the right of the men ke ban la right le what about the rights of the elders ako ñi they have taken it and he said to me they have taken it ko jo jumala adi la i asked who gave it to them so luwa le mot so that is the law well that is that smacks to me as a very different understanding when men tan ndela ndela faham lo rawoni wo fara baka what human rights is wala min di hadama di ngol nyanto menti but for what it's worth but i mean feeling feeling let's put it aside ngo ko ni ngawo landi karala am i correct in saying from beti ati beti linda la ngayim foko that you do not believe in the law that govern this country ite ite malla luwa la mi alon ko wolle ni banko ni mara e malla o luwa la ma fo e malla la i did not say that i did not believe them would you apply it fo e be mu na fanno e lala ba ma luwa ni nal ba kam mu na fala dami alon ko ni na dino ma wali i will apply it where it is not in contradiction with my religion mu kan che ko ato fanno I also am careful about it. Did you or have you ever insulted Dr. Samba? For inanaka Dr. Samba for inanaka anene bang for his statements on FGM. Asuji ni ngala kuma kango lai mem for mem muni FGM di mem muso le nyaka nyaka rata kodi. ay kila di ngol lene ngana la musul sallallahu sallam wala ya said he insulted the children of the prophet and Mo his wife mole min fatam be ala dan la yam funna be ma is someone that is now late uh, we pray that god will show him mercy o martin nanten doctor samba keta ka sid la kline ka bendu la kline muslim banjur muslim elders ka kool ke ka kacha ka jele despite all of that i used to sit with him together we meet and uh, we also uh, go together at the banjur muslim elders and we chat and we laugh mo fa ham ri ngolam because he's a a well landed person i mean for i alon nen tanga mean for alon what he said he knew and also what i said i knew but when the woman no relation with him but that did not uh, in any way jeopardize our relationship dr samba tatale alama alayam fulama dr samba is gone may god have mercy on him do samba na bring something else uh, do you take it upon yourself or do you think you are the custodian of ima- of islam in this country and whosoever does something that you think is not in line with what you believe as a muslim you have to attack them fo imay la ñi nako etelo ketam moti meyalon ko diino la kuube maral etelo bulo kono and we ketam moti meyalon ko momoro ni mbey banku ngabe makam diino la karol and woni tela miro ni la lanno manta ñola do o mari ñi ñanda bantu ko kela wala ko tole ba fo imaw mira ba yemo jelle konti how many people have you counted many what many siyada the, the, ah, the ahmadis okay as a, as as a as a group okay mu kafoldi the shiite as Shia. a group or fana mu kafoldi we have babali anim mm-hmm. babali mu mm-hmm. kunni we, we have uh, uh, bakausu mm-hmm. bakausu fofana we have uh, uh, omar kam omar omar fofana omar mm-hmm. fofana Uh, yes i have counted all those ngay no be konti janne okay how many you left yemo jelle we have counted dr samba ah ko nga dr samba fole and dr dr dumbuya okay yes and and how many and we we would come to pamodu fall who you caused to be arrested by the nia bina pamodu fall for na ko me yalan ko tele sababu to wala kuura bina rana amuta nil na rana amuta pamodu fall yes Pamodu Bojang wala fwal. Is Pamodu Bojang o fwal? 
a journalist. I think his name is Pamodufal. Don't go into that yet. We would come into that. <laughs> we would come into that. Hmm? So, do you believe that you have the authority as Imam of State House to call for people to be attacked or people to be banned? You think you had the responsibility to ensure that your version of Islam is the Islam that is practiced in this country. Is oh. that your belief? Oh. Good, I am happy with that answer. Nam. Yes. Yes, you you saying you have you have that is your responsibility. That's yes. your authority. No. Yes. Uh, that is quite an interesting revelation, uh, Mr. Chair. I think that should be noted because the witness is saying he thinks. It is within his authority as Imam of State House uh, to... Not as, as Imam of State House. As an Imam generally, okay. or as a person? As an Imam. As an Imam, okay. To attack anybody? And not attack, I'm not attacking to, uh, anyone. To call for people to be banned because who, who they preach a brand of Islam that is different from yours. Don't take it let me rephrase the question. Let me ask the question again. Ask Imam. Do you think you have the power? To ask for people to be banned uh, because they are preaching a version of Islam that is different from yours. Don't say my thoughts. That's that's what I used to reject. Say that which is not in line with Islam, so that we can have an agreement. Uh, I can only say your version of Islam. No. Because there is no universal, universally accepted version of Islam. There is no one version of Islam that is 100% accepted by all the people who call themselves Muslims. So, so I can only talk about your version. Are you, are you a Wahhabi? Repent. Are you a Wahhabi? Please, first of all, repent. Astaghfirullah. Uh, uh, look, Ya Imam, don't ever do that again to me. No, I love you. I love you. I love you, I love you back. Yeah. Uh, but don't impose your own beliefs. Not on my own else. belief. Please, if. don't say again your own belief. We are I have no belief except the belief of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his sahabas. Everyone told you about Wahhabi Salafis. Tell him to define what is Wahhabis. Who are they? Where are they? The Wahhabis are those who believe in the version of Islam that is propagated in Saudi Arabia. No. It's wrong. Okay. Tell us, who are they? Okay. No religion found in Islam calls Wahhabiya. No at all. Well, people call Saudis it. are in 
school of thought of Ahmed bin Hanbal. And they call Hanbaliya, but, but not Wahhabiya. But within Hanbaliya, you have Wahhabiya. Am what, I lying? What is Wahhabiya? It's part of Hanbaliya. No, it's wrong. Well, people say that within Hanbaliya, there is Wahhabiya. These are individuals who, Sunna who fight against the true way. Safe, safe These are scribes. These are just onlookers. But, but the afo, thing is, mo, mo long. But but the thing is uh, you think you are the only one who is correct. Anybody else who has a different view, either kafir or incorrect. I'm alone. Muhammad Fadil Fadera, Sifo Kante, Ali Bashir Kamara. You Juma Saudi, Egypt. Mimbe Karantana Morok, Mimbe Karantana Moritani, Nitel Nini Mudantan Rowale different sort. What level to Yak and the Lefaniaga? All the people who no, 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 from Mauritania, from Saudi, from Egypt. Gambia Karana be Q, Min Karante Jamik, Nilda Manimulu Dama, what level to Yak and the Lefaniaga? All the landed men of Gambia are could all you, on the same uh, line, you, and the difference is only with these few could, individuals. Could you listen? Lamo so, Idron. Uh, you are bringing in things that have nothing or no bearing on the issues that are being discussed. The question is, if a person has a belief that is different from what you believe, it does not matter whether what you believe is believed by 99.9% .9 of the world. The question is, do you have a right to stop that one person from exercising his belief? That is the question you are asking. I don't stop anyone. It is the Supreme Islam Council. Council. But, but you are the one who's been advocating for people to be banned. You heard only about my own. Yes, we are talking about yours. Since all those that here, we are mentioning Ablai Fati, and that is what is in your head. Yes, that's... I have a thousand of my types outside. Yes, but here we are talking about yours. Now we are talking about yours. It was unlawful. What was not unlawful? Your call for these individuals or these groups that have a view that is different from yours to be banned. That was unlawful. It's not that their belief was not in line with mine. They were spoiling our religion. In fact, in fact, I will not allow that. Your views and your calls against the Ahmadis continued from 1997 all the way to 2014 correct correct even today i'm on it because they will not relent in fact uh, mr chair i'm referring to exhibit 117h your arguments uh, with the Ahmadi community continued, and in this Voice newspaper, they responded to claims you have made, 
calling them false and ngan ka bi ni ngamadi allah nyo sabaku ni kono ya safe ni kibar kairo bala mem pointi ya safe je ko ete kumandro ete jalairo mem foy la kuro man ku am kulet me alanko amansoro and this was in fact on the uh, uh, 4th of november uh, 2014 and ngin keta sang sang la mi angoro november karo til nani 2014 sang kono they claim that the statements you have made against them are false yeni mfo je ko e kan ni kuma ko mem fo la karo la mu kulet mi alanko kuma kan de mi alanko man ke to nyaadi do you recall that fo yakilo si o manu la ba den hamadi on ali be patala le between me and the amadias you will be tired about it ali be patala le you be tired about it Uh, of course hamadi uh, la cheba konta be fala la jun because the 1997 wala 90 malong akon be fala la london ay kutubo ko wala to konta be fala la head of amadias gave a sermon in london in fonga fonga newspaper nyinta nga di bajo lan ka fele that will die in 1997 ila cheba cheba min fata jara ako imam we are not concerned no. about those things what we are concerned about are the things that you have done uh, calling for particular groups be they ahmadis be they whatever you call them non muslim minority whatever they are the fact that you are asking them to be banned that's what we are talking about oto mansula men yensula wala nginti ko kafol kafol kumandi ka foko foy kafu ningol lam bang ka foy ko ni nyan ibe tolbe siro men no be bula il di la fita il di hamo men soro miro men soro so no ma ko pour ye ton le kan wo dino ila wo dino la karola be wala no ma ni man na dino ma me la dino ma ta kum dino kum wala din ye te la dino te yen tabula Let them go to their religion and leave us alone. I am happy that you said that. On se o ta wala, se o ta ba ke yo kuma kan fo. In fact, they also claimed that you should be banned. And we fanay nyim fo ko nyan ne te fanan tonale. It's and it's on the 5th of November 2014. Do you accept that? Ye nfo November karo ti lulu 2014 san kono. Fo isonta wala ba. Ye kuma jama la fanta ma. They said so many things against me. And in fact, as a result of their protest you were sacked as imam of state house the next day and we told fanan kabri told fanan fintita yela balambaya tandinu wo samola ye narane de fanan bay almamiyala foto nyala to nyalam foto nyante malom yende bon de state house man sababu fo i don't know i was removed from the state house but i was not given a reason so ni tele ya long o tete tel 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 ya ta tel le ta ta tel le mi lo nje wala fo so if they know then uh, they are the ones that went there uh, let me read out something that was said in the papers silang so nga kuma dan tan karang ye men fo kayto nyinto mr chair this is wednesday november 5th 2014 today you get a november carrot 2015 till lulu 2015 2014, 2014 and this was, this was uh, an article citing mr ahmad ba and nyin keta ki kuma kan der melon ko ahmad ba la karola lem and it says fundamentalism and bigotry cannot fit into the gambian space fundamentalism and bigotry wala mi de ko jutun naya and jutun naya anin hate is bigotry ge konante ya da kunna na banko kan jangambe banko kan and uh, he said as follows ay mem fo je wala mi ndiko following the rebuttal of the ahmadiyya muslim jamaat to imam abdullahi fatih statements that ahmadis are not muslims and should be banned from this country ako tuma la men na ko men hamadi alla imam fatih kuma kuma kam fo hamadi alla karola anu hamadi alla fana nadna jabiro ko kuma kam kuma kuma nyindo in a telephone interview uh, ba said that such religious bigotry has no place in gambia o telephone do nyo moyo do men so do telephone do hamad ba ya fo je ko o judo na ya sifa do o to sorno la gambia banko kan jang and he went on to say attendant i have ko that it is a constitutional right of every gambian to belong 
to any religion or worship in a way that suits the individual as long as he or she does within the confines of the constitution wala mindi kuma kan auto ya tentenda ka fuko e jimu nyantol di momola karola anu constitution meme lu ale o sembo di momola yebta ma yetara dino to mialon ko ila fita wala anu yetara e mote 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 batan la mote bantam bille nyato wo ay ke nyinti kamba di romialon ko ani lu abitana le and he said I don't share such hardline religious views. I tend to have a man who makes me feel like I'm 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 a man ba 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 tenten da yafo je ko ko jutu na yato de banko banko do ka kuma seni nyal me alon ko e konnantea ni konnantea sembo warta a akono which escalates into conflicts as seen in nigeria wo kana na men sababu kana na fitino le sabu surtout men nata na wol nata na men nata na ke nigeria banko ka he warned that such type of intolerance must not be entertained in the gambia ndunga tentenda ya marlo ke hanka bi o kuma kan sifal ma nyenna kala kudi mi alon ko mol bi sonna la gambia banko kan jam this is what hamad ba had to say about your hudbas that ahmadi should be banned mr hamad ba nyine mo kuma kan ta meme fo ila ku moto ila jabiro ro me yekutu bo men di hamadi allah ko ro pour nyanne tonna in gambia banko kan jam do you have anything to say about fo ye kuma sotala ba bela fla ka men la fa nyin kuma kan to bo ay meme fo temba Hamad Bay mo nelo Islam to fa be dia mo la Islam. What does Hamad Ban know on Islam that he should be talking about Islam? Uh, he is a politician. He is a, a politician. He is a party him. leader. Politician. And, and he's talking Dino. about the laws of this country. Politician ola mari andung politik nya ko kafu party nya ton ko la mari andung be diam kam banko la ko la. Bara dino la ma. But he has touched religion let him talk about the politics and religion 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 religion. in fact the Anything newspaper religion. the newspaper said kibar kaito nyi tenta da nyi foko that while there were no official reasons advanced for this development that is your sucking the moment na man hani kuma kan di melon ko abota do ko la karola pour uite la bayro la karola Uh, it could be recalled that Imam Fati recently called for members of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat to be banned from the Gambia. And nyim fotal nun ko mando ko hamma Imam Abdullahi Fati nanay nyim fole nun ko hamadiyal nyanne tonna nyim banko kan janne. The Ahmadiyya Jamaat in response jeto hamadiyal la ila kuma kan to e jabiro mem di labeled you as a threat to the internal security of Gambia. Ye chodi nyina ko etamu molti meyalon ko emu banko e banko la fitna ku mamanda de banko kan jamu molti meyalon ko be banko fitino mamanda de banko kan jane. And they accuse you of undermining the peace and stability of the country and demanding that you be banned. Andu ye kanendo ko nyina ko etamu molti meyalon ko kairo mem be banko kan jang ibe 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 kairo nyi tinyalale andu ye kanendo ko hanika be pour ye ye tong e kana ka be kawando ke. Ale alal main use use your minds ali kis kisirok investigate imam fati sate fula jumale tala how which two settlements did uh, imam fati and divide tan nun konon to imam sheikh kana bula nyena na be be kutu bo dor nala for 19 years coming today i'm in always giving sermons nana e family jumale tala nyim banko which family have i ever divided in this country amadi on e sate wulu tala The Ahmadiyas have divided communities. Ntata Kerma Mudufana. We went to Kerma Mudufana. All of those are Tijani as well. 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 Violence started in the community. Sate o mo le wulte na kana Supreme Islamic Council. The people of that community came to the Supreme Islamic Council. Nga mo jang kontel nga jiji ta jiji nga delegation ota. Ndama ke Supreme Islamic President ota. President besilo kanta si delegation ota sali. I heard that I used a jiji vehicle to go there. I did not. I was not the president of the council. Council oni aji jiji kono government na chilari abe wala. 
if you see uh, the council in a, a GG vehicle, it's because the messenger of the government is in the vehicle. If the government did not send him, where would he be able to use a vehicle Imam. with GG marks? We went to this uh, village to reunite the people, to let them know that they are people who are from the same mother and father and they must unite. As the Alcala was speaking, an Amadia member got up and told him to shut up his mouth. Iman Tonyaf. You are not speaking the truth. Iman Fatile was Imam Fatile the one who stoked that violence or the one who stoked that violence or was it the Amadia? Talindi Bade ko problemo minkete ji. Iman Fatile bijele Fatije. The problem at the Talinding Cemetery was it? Well, yeah, Imam Fatih Imam, on? if you preach that Ahmadis are not Muslims, they should be banned, they should be killed. Obviously, many cemeteries would not allow their dead to be buried there. You take a look at the Muslim monk and Missile Multi, in Multi Mianco, and Yenne Tona Lefana. Need to come and see for the Multi Lorcona. Need some get a more father. What are you going to do? Moja 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 that I said that the Ahmadiyas be killed, expunge that from your statement. Don't uh, allow the Ahmadiyas and deny me. I am just putting the accusation. I am the custodian of my statement. I am the statement. If you want to get to the, the truth of the matter, ask me and I will tell you. But the only problem is that Imam Fati is in Bangkokang. But Imam Fati is not in the country. The problem of the Ahmadiyas did not start when Imam Fati was in this country. He left in Obenim Bangkokang. The man is Imam Fati. Their problem, their violence started in this country even before I was born, even before I became an Imam. But you put fuel in the fire, didn't you? Are you telling Isan Zoda Yaki Dimbani in Gonovo? My Isan Sikiye. Which fuel? According. To uh, the news, the Freedom newspaper. Kibarka Romi Nsora Jam member of Freedom newspaper. Bulu. And they said, "Yaya Jam is sacked to you." Ko yeyi info jeko yaya Jam me baile. Because you've been giving him misleading information. Aru nyinka malako yeka kibar diala me alonka me kibar soto ringoldi. Relating to the Muslim Ummah, is that true? Abe o kono wole Muslim jama la al halo la kuor. Putonya le. Aja mene afo eba. Was it aja mene said that to you? I am I am just quoting from a newspaper. A newspaper karang wole kibar kaido da mafu. Alenyo ni kanto le letro roti. Ngaletro minso roti. You deny that? Ngaletro minso roti. The letter that I got, such was not in that letter. Another paper. This, this is Rapua Times. It says you have been sacked because of your calls against the Ahmadis. Okay, to any man, and all you do, ye by the and Dalilome as up with ye by all and Ikakuman Rome, Ikakumakam for a friend Hamadi Alma. Hamadi on the newspaper. That is a, an Amadia newspaper. Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying you. Yes. Uh, this is what the newspaper say. Rabua. 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 Yes. Rabua. Yes. Rabua. Amadia newspaper. So you deny that you were sacked for the statements you were making against the Ahmadiyya? Amuntai balanda nyin nalako ila bayo nyin bayro nyin amon suji nyin kama kafu ko ika kuma kama menfo Hamadiyya alima. No, no, no. No. What I suspect is uh, we are two issues. It could be we, we would get to that place, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm just asking you this question for you to answer yes or no. If necessary, we go to it. If not, we don't. Ngafoyele. I told you. Ngaletero le soto. I got a letter. Nyingkuma county jee. But this statement was not in it. Nyingkuma ndile. I was called. Kwenye na. That I should come. That a state house. I went to the state house. Mie letero dinna. The one that gave me the letter. Kwenye ko. Said to me that. Misida one ya mari. The president has instructed me. Kwenye nyi letero dila. To hand over this letter to you. Kwa ye dahandi. That he has retired you. Imam yala jane. From the imamship. Bara kwensi kumandi. But that I should call you. Bunyani horobo kono. In respect and honor. Ngafo ye nko. And tell you that. Ya baraka. Thank you.
Thank you very much. One, one last question from me, Imam. Do you believe in religious tolerance? You are not done. Someone uh, accused me here, and you've not brought that person's statement. Because people used to call me and insult me. I am coming, I am coming to that. Not Yes. Uh, do you believe in religious tolerance? You know where you are heading to, it's going to be difficult. Do you believe in religious tolerance? We are here with the Christians, they are in their religion, and we are in our own, and there is no problem. Huh? And, and do you believe that as Muslims say, come for Tobaski, you can pray today, I can pray the next day if I want to? Islam is based on reason. If someone tells you that, ask the person for the reason. If that reason is genuine, problem then it isn't a problem. I'm not complicating the issue. Do you believe that I, as a Muslim, also have the right to pray, say, Eid on a day that is different from you? What is that isn't in Islam. Is that the reason why you got uh, Sirif Haidara arrested? Sirif Haidara is a Sirif Haidara is a Muslim. Sirif Haidara is a Muslim. His arrest is between him and the Ajame. Did you cause his arrest? No. No. Uh, his, his son was testified before the commission and said that you ordered his father's arrest? Do you deny that? Yes. Ah. yes. In your statement, you said you told them that you had their father arrested. You, you, you have the sheriff arrested. Why did you tell them that? Okay. Now, uh, allow me. We were going to Pirang for a conference Arabalum. on Wednesday. Wednesday. Tutifal called me and said to me that my grandfather is arrested. And she said to me, do you see what this man does? Do you see what he does? I said to her, no, uh, calm down. Mature call. I called Ture. Muhammad Lamin Ture. Muhammad Lamin Ture. Nkaya nkoe koe sirifu mutayakala mutale. I said to him, I have heard that the sirifu has been arrested. Are you aware? Kwenye sayin namu, yangamwe. He said to me, I heard it just now. Nga kanyan did wrong. Ha, nyinyanta sene alale. This has to be clear. Kwe sene alale. Nkaya nkoe sayin be mansakunda kontakla. I said to him, now I am going to contact the government. Supin sami kansul tola. In the name of the Supreme Islamic Council, okay. and he said, okay. I called Sonko, interior minister. the interior minister. I said to him, I heard that you have arrested the Sirifo. And he said to me, yes. I said to him, the council is pleading that he be brought to the council so that we could discuss with him. No, and, no, and, so, so just, just a question on that. Did that happen? Did this meeting take place? He said to me, tomorrow we will bring him. Well, that was the Thursday. When, he, when he came, ah. Did you ask the sheriff to accept that he made a mistake and he should apologize? Bring another. For ye sirifoni ya kani ne kafa yako silan sirifo sondronko ifilitale kuwenye kita ifilitale kuweba. Amani kifilita. Bira nata. 
when he came, uh, discussions were held. Cool. Just answer the question, otherwise we'll be here whole day. If I should, if I should answer the questions, yes or no, it would end up now, and you will not get what you want. Okay. I always get what I want. Just Just please, uh, have so, patience. Nkaya konte ma ahenteri mbakele purudasi la mini president wa wali. I said to you, it saddens me so much for a disagreement to exist between Das Lamin and the president. Because I know what, ha what is between the two of them. There are so many things, so many times they will send me and I will go. So, Sani. So now, until the Supreme Islamic Council, until the Yamaro di Puri arrest. Supreme Islamic Council, we are the ones that give the instructions for you to be arrested. The government is not involved. President is not involved at all. But was, was that true but or was it false? Allow me. But Allow was it true? Police, police was it true or was it false? It's, it's, it is false. Okay. Police will be seated. The police will be seated. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? So that to get him off the hands of the police, so that they will leave him with the Supreme Islamic Council. That was why when we discussed, I said to Jata, who was leading the commissioner, he was a commissioner at Say. I said to him, now we have come to an understanding with the sheriff and release him to go home. He said to me, this matter is with the seniors, I called the IG Sonko. I said to him, we have discussed with the, 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 the elder and we have come to an, an agreement. To but he said to me that the things are coming from the top. I called Sonko. And he said to me, things are in the hands of the bigger man. So, so is this Yaya Jame interfering in what would have been work of the Supreme Islamic Council? No, allow me to clear this Just place. Just answer that question and no, so, so, you proceed. So, so, so. Just allow me. Answer that Mina question Jelen. and you proceed, please. Yes, and you do it. You to involve himself how? Yeah, Jamea can kulala ko ni mumu man sali soma wala no. Salo ni mumu man sali fengwala ni mumu man sali nyola. Iko ka ya maridole batu. Isi ta ke dula doto barika na ke gameja. Yeah, Jamea give instructions that if people did not uh, pray on the same day and that if there were others waiting for other instructions other than that selected day for prayer, then they would do that prayer somewhere else but not here. So, uh, IG call cut. so I called the IG again. I said to him, well, if you now say that you are not going to release him, Allah, Allah, we are bail. then allow him to be bailed. He is an elderly man and he is also not very well. And uh, the younger brother is probably listening to me. And he said, we will look into it. The following day, which was Friday, Banjul. we were on our way to Banjul. IG called. The IG called me Akonye Imam. and said to me, Imam, Minto. where are you? Nko Banjul. I said, in Banjul. Ako sa na yundum ke ya he said, I just left Yundum now, but the elder has been built. Afela and he has uh, left for his home. Not a santo call. I came, I called up. Where, where, is up? where is up? Santo Mindo. I called, I called President Yaya Jame. I got his Hodli. Yusuf Sane. Yusuf Sane. And then he sit again. He once testified here. I said to him, I would like to speak to the president. He said to me, he was walking around, but he's now gone in. I said it could be by the time he will come out, it would already be late. Tell him that. That I say that we plead with him to release the elder. We have discussed and have come to a uh, conclusion and that everything was okay. Yusuf Nathan called back. Yusuf called me back. And told me that he has uh, told him. But that he said you should not plead with him again. In fact, in fact, this is hypocrisy. 
don't you think that if you tell him arrest these people because they have violated your order and you turn around and beg him to release them that would not amount to hypocrisy I'm just Who asked him to arrest them? Uh, no, well, the Supreme Islamic Council was doing what Yaya Jame wanted them to do to Super ensure that all people in the country would pray on a particular day. So the Islamic Council be cool like a man on go. Yeah, Jamal left a ala fita wo barola. What am I going to do? No, no. Banco be a selling you a long killing. I want to hear Amir. That was not yeah, Jamal's thinking. But why do you think yeah, Jamal would call you a hypocrite? I tell Amir, I'm not a sabu. I tell Amir, I'm not a sabu. What did you do for him to call you a hypocrite? You only begged him to release somebody who's had been arrested. Why would he call you a hypocrite? He would be the one to say that. Because what I did is to walk the path of Islam. Now I accept, I accept. Now I accept. If he accepts it, he will accept it. But if he does not, he should not insult me because I did not ask him to arrest the sheriff. And again, I agree with you. Insulting should not be part of our discourse. Be it imam, be it cleaner. They should not be insulted. Muslims or non-Muslim minority, nobody should be insulted. And that is why we are here. In your statement, you said the imam should say the right things. Do you regret having made any statements throughout your imamship which you think went over the line? Okay. I cannot recall that. You've been perfect. There is no one individual that does not make a mistake. Tell me, is this specifically? Do you recall any mistake you've made? Is there any part that you regret? I do not see that. Well, I would tell you, Imam. Imam. Calling for the burning of the Shiites was wrong. Calling for the burning of the Ahmadiyya was wrong. If you said it, if you said it, if you said it, if you said it Calling for the killing of the Ahmadiyyas was very wrong. If you did it, calling for the burning of Bakaus was wrong. Calling for the burning of Dr. Dumbuya and Omar Fofana was wrong. Inciting Yaya Jame against other preachers was wrong. Including Babali. Insulting Dr. Samba was wrong. And, and advocating for an extremist like Dr. Nike to be brought into the Gambia to pollute the minds of Gambians was wrong.
fundamentalism and religious bigotry have no space in Gambia. Thank you. Hadamadingol na siyoto jang weka kondantia ni jau ya nyoka njang o man kula tu mea lango amanya na sisila na banko kanjang abarka. I deny all the accusations. Perfect English. Yes. Thank you very much. No further questions. Thank you. Alani ningaro dante kanjang ni sila. Uh, thank you, Council, very much. And, uh, thank you, Imam Fati, for testimony. Before I turn to the commissioners, I want to mention one point that you uh, had uh, referred to in your testimony. Left a point, killing Fana, killing Fola, Fola Jang, Mialongo, Yafuela, we say, and Droni, we show you Kono. You seem to have them um, uh, uh, reduced. Uh, human rights to a level that f no one should agree with you. Munta ye hanama dingola nyanto ya tala tembeda alto mea alonko tembeda ya tala tembeda alto mea alonko moma nyanda son ne maoro o fannala. You ascribe them as selectivity to it that is not the case. Ya ye tandija ye tombo ndroke fannala mea alonko wolu mo manke kuwa nyinti. He said them uh, that uh, human rights, human rights, what, what are you talking about? You select them, uh, children, you select women, respect them uh, or protect their rights. What about the men? There yeah. is selectivity in that um, yeah, for young, remark. Uh, human rights, human rights, well, nyanto, the hadamadu, nyanto, the nyanto, the edinual for the yamusul for them for young. Slang, muskeol, dunna karola, the muna, wala nyanto, the kyol. I wouldn't let them, uh, that um, kind of uh, uh, statement to go unanswered. Tell us, look, kumaka on yeta, on yama, raman jabi. Human rights is universal. Human rights, I'm not going to say anything about it. I'll quote them uh, very short references to the Declaration of Human Rights. On 10 December 1948, 1948, the General Assembly of the United Nations proclaimed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. United Nations and I'm quoting three um, uh, quotes some from that. And it proclaimed the declaration as a common standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations. In Article One of the Declaration. Article 1, Declaration on Yinto, Amen for Ye. These are very short quotes that I'm making. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and the conscience. They are endowed. Sorry. With reason and the conscience, and that should act towards one another. In the spirit of brotherhood. And the last um, quote, yeah, the last quote is a long sentence, but it goes like this. Everyone is, yeah. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and the freedoms set forth in this declaration. Without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, Language, religion, political or other opinion, 
national or social origin. Fo banku diya ro momo ibota banku jumalto waranto ibota jama jama dingira jumalto. Property. Sora fengolto. Birth. Uluoro or other status. Aning ora fengko aning fengko tan kota ngolto. This was supposed to be having universal application. Ninyenda kila kule deme alonko ninyenda kuke la kuvi muna fanga fanuri ngolti. Yeah, there are groups that turn around for whatever reason. They deny this applicability. We, I have traveled with the Secretary General to several meetings at the start of his tenure. This is Secretary General Anan to the African Union meetings. Secretary General Nata Amada Dungira Jamalto alai meeting of Kumase Dualdo. There were leaders some uh, in the um, OAU meeting, the very first one in particular, where so they were denying the applicability of universal uh, human rights to Africans. They said, oh, this was all Western stuff. It doesn't apply to our people. Nothing could be further from the truth. We put it down or made it absolutely clear that this declaration, the rules some that have emerged um, uh, in the international arena on um, human rights and humanitarian law, is applicable throughout the world. Ngai tende je kwa njing declaration na wale njing kumakonda yeme finde njimu kula demia lango asitama no dunia fa dunia fa na biro hana madingo la nyanto la kuro. I hope you are not representing a religious view that well if you apply it to men and sorry apply it to children and women what happened to the men what about the men? Njikere njenda yeme hana madingo la nyanto men na kumovu kwa yeye dini wale ni muso la kumovu sila kwa wale dunia karola du yeye mo na faoro. The vast majority of what we are looking at um, in this commission, um, uh, men are also part of that, um, the victim. They are victims. Children are. Women are. Commission be men ju be kanja be abe okona wale midi muso le beje kio le beje dini wale beje. We are saying kio le fana beje le katun kio le fana keta mole le mialongo ya kule akul soro nyungu nyungu na benzi o mengo na men ju be kanja. I just didn't want to let this go without coming back and addressing the issue. Malla fi kuo nyimbe ta efa bangu nyama wata nyungu nyungu mungu wata me mu kio la karola di la nyanto muneti. If you have any response, fine. Otherwise, I'm last mission is to be approved. Uh, Baraka, Thank you so much. We have all seen the declaration. Uh, Thank you. It reminded us. You special incident this was a special incident, and the person that I asked that question was not even a Gambian, was a European. And uh, the question that I asked him is the response that he gave me that I told you here. I did not add anything there, neither have I subtracted anything from it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope you don't share the views of that individual. Commissioners, if you have any questions, please indicate. Imam C, you have the floor, please. Imam C, the Kanye Nyinga, Kwaye Nyinga, Rosu Rene. Salaamu alaykum, Fati. Wa alaykum, Salaamu alaykum, Fati. Thank you for the clarification. That is one thing I would like to say. Kipuku Saga Aisha. Anyone that insults Aisha. Kula Saga Sidina Umar. Or anyone that uh, insults Sidina Omar. Or Sidina Ababakar. Or Sidina Ababakar. Or Sidina Usman. Or Sidina Usman. Or you change the Al Quran and take something else and substitute it for Al Quran. That individual is also troubling the Muslims. This is all that I have to say. Thank you. Shukra, uh, thank you very much, Emma, Imam. If there are no further questions from the commissioners, uh, Imam Fati, if you have any closing remarks to make, please proceed to do so now. Silang tumalam na commissioner moote je me yini nkaro soto me mbela fleke yini nka. Silang kumakamu murute ifangkang Imam niyekuma soto ibela fleka memfo isafo. 
Bismillah alhamdulillah sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad ba ala tantula I thank God ba sallaki la sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pray in the name of the holy prophet uh ba alfalu kontorna I greet uh, the elders mo commissioner sorry the commissioners council the councils men uh chairman of kontorna I would like to greet the chairman and in nobody ma Council of Fall and my relative, Council Fall. I think he too would accept to become a Fati. I will uh, uh, seek forgiveness from him. I prolonged your time. I also uh, plead your forgiveness. It could be that in some moments I was angry as I was testifying. So more uh, everybody is uh, in their own way. I seek forgiveness on that. If I said something that was directed at them, I plead for their forgiveness. I want to applaud them for their work. I applaud all who came here, my friends, my loved ones, my family. Uh, everyone watching me outside of this country. So, I thank them for uh, to show that what Kabir Heer said. I mean for Kilai Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What he said to the Prophet. لا تأخذني بأقوال الوشات ولم أذنب ولو كثرت في الأقابيل. Don't associate me with the things that people will accuse me of. I did not uh, work any evil. Even if uh, the things that have been said are many, there are people here who can be a witness. If people insult me, do not insult them. Ali uh, meet them with knowledge. Bakausu and Tora back. Bakausu troubled me a lot. I am back. He insulted me a lot. Uh, I beg your pardon. This was a youngster to whom I was very good. I assisted him a lot. He sought for a position and he lost. He had no enemy except me. Doka WhatsApp kinye. Some send me WhatsApp messages. Messages sababijam. There are three messages here. Moti jamin salamu ino. There is no one here who would be able to listen to them. Doka call. Some call me. Abi Gambia jam. And the person is here in the Gambia. Suto one o'clock after one. One o'clock after one o'clock. Kanendro. Insulted me. Manku kala. And I have done nothing to the person. Mahalo. I don't even know the person.
Pamo de Bojang. Pamo de Bojang? Manko Kal. I have done nothing to him. Ma Samba NIA. I have not taken him to the NIA. I need a radio sooner. He stole this guy's radio. Bashir Dabo. Bashir Dabo. Radio Nanya Nalo. The way the radio came, I know it. Na Katafunga radio Gonda Bulunga Murunda Marima. We tried until we took the radio from him and returned it back to its rightful owner. A Kondel Kamol Samba NIA. And he said that I am the one that you should take people to the NIA. Abenne Nasuta Til. You'll be insulting me day and night. Mbal Danila. I am pleading to you. Kausu Fofana. Kausu Fofana. Pamodu Boja. Pamodu Bojang. Nimi a text kinye. Any one of them that sends me a text. Nimi a message kinye. Those that sent me uh, messages, WhatsApp, the WhatsApp, you can call. These that call me, I leave their things with God. If we come before God's presence, We will uh, go and uh, have our day. Funding The youth, Ali Sabar. Be patient, Al Kana Kelek. Don't fight, Al Kaka Mone. Don't insult people, Al Kana Motoni. Don't trouble anyone, Al Quran. The Al Quran, Ali Sunno. And the ways of the Prophet, Ali Mutal Bulogun. Hold those with your hands, Al Nai Balu. And live with it, Al Nai Fa. And die with it. The Kebal Labunya Dile. Give the elders their respect, their due, and honor them. Gambia is Sabbath. So that Gambia will uh, remain, Cairo is Sabbath. And peace will also be remain. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you very much indeed, um, uh, Imam Fati. And uh, we are been established the commission to create an impartial record um, of violations and abuses abarka ba ke ke ma mem sedo di trc ya london ni kama puruka tarika sahari ngol tarika tarika sabatir ngol londi in order to promote and uh, healing and reconciliation. And what are you going to do? Going to well, you think? How do you want to tell me? Can I just call call the Sabatindi and Unka? All Gambia is going to go through some healing and uh, certainly reconciliation. Gambia no be able to any go any la la reconciliation. No, we can come through. No, we can call la. That means that Malta ma ka ka dia mu dia ma ngai murundi no ka dia. We all suffered enormously. I hope um, uh, what uh, the population is doing to assist us in creating that record. We will achieve um, uh, the purpose of healing and reconciliation. I thank you enormously for taking the time to come and testify before the commission. This brings us to the end of the proceeding summer today. And tomorrow being Independence Day, we are not uh, convening. Our next public hearing would um, resume at 10 o'clock on Wednesday. If there are no further questions, uh, we will end the meeting now. Again, thank you very much, Imam Fadi. And thank you all for coming, and happy Independence Day to all of you tomorrow. Meeting is adjourned.